Yeah, the nigga with the pacifier. That's exactly it. Yeah. Uh, that nigga say, take me to jail. That ain't the same nigga, is it? Nah, that's um. That's bro from Don't Be a Menace. Don't Be a Menace is the the uh. I was about to say something <laughs> problematic. Was the nigga that was saying, "Don't take take me to jail, lock away the kid." Whatever. Right, right. You talking about the nigga with the pacifier? He was in Boys in the Hood. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to say he was in a wheelchair. All right, yeah, no, that, that's exactly it. Yeah, he Paul was. was. Yeah, man. So I wanted to start this episode off with a little bit of um. <clears throat> Boom, I'm talking lights, camera, action. All right, That's so. a little Mr. <laughs> little Mr. Cheeks. So we just started. This nigga Joe was playing Mr. Cheeks for whatever reason. I don't know why he needed to play Mr. Cheeks. First I'm talking lights, camera, action. First of all, pause to that nigga being named Mr. Cheeks. Mr. Cheeks. <laughs> they told him, bro. Hey, I'm not calling a grown man Mr. Cheeks. He walked in and was like, "Call me Mr. Bitches." The A and R was like, "That ain't gonna work." <laughs> we gotta switch it up. Green ass nigga. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's for Mr. Cheeks now. Oh, you. okay, okay, okay. I that's, was gonna, that's for that Mr. was a good one. That's for Mr. Cheeks, not you. I tell you what, we'll call you Mr. Cheeks. That'll do. Yeah, I'm not calling the nigga Mr. Cheeks. I have to come up with another name. <laughs> and he was in a street crew. What's his name? The Lost, the Lost Boys. Boys, yeah. And they was calling that nigga. They was catching bodies while calling that nigga Mr. Cheeks. That's outrageous. Matter of fact, did you know the Lost Boys were mentored by Gil Scott Heron? Shut the fuck up. You just read that on Wikipedia. Bro. Hey, bro. Hey, <laughs> no, hey. Read, it don't matter. It don't matter what this you, nigga got Lost Boys When you learn. We just found out about <laughs> the niggas like five minutes ago. This nigga got Lost Boys. Expert, <laughs> it don't matter when you learn. It's what you learn. I'm just saying, I't come on here talking like you just. Uh, I said, did Mr. you Chief. know? It don't did come on you here like know? You're Mr. I just so happened to come across right, the right, fact right. that they, that Mr. Cheeks was mentored by Gil, his uncle Gil Scott Heron, whom I did not know. I have a feeling you're saying uncle. his name wrong. Ain't it Gil Scott Heron? You saying hair on like that nigga some dope or some shit? I mean, I don't it's know. Gil Scott hair. That nigga, man. that nigga poetry was dope. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga, you saying that nigga name like some drugs or some shit? This nigga, the nigga last name regular. It's Gil Scott hair. <laughs> you heard the way he pronunciate words, bro? It might be hair on. I ain't listen to that nigga music, man. <laughs> that nigga be, yeah. yeah. My name is Gil Scott Heron. That's your suit playing music, bro. Right? Yeah, so when I be cleaning up, right, I just lead the uh, You clean up, up in a suit? Yeah, bro. All right, bro. Stop Button up it, in right. slacks, man. Does he clean up the house? You gotta in undo suit? the top too. He clean up in a suit? He, he gotta does clean, clean up, up in the a top suit, too, bro. Right. Hey, you better know it. <laughs> All right, bro. I don't wanna do this episode no more, but. <laughs> Let's, let's reschedule for Let's reschedule 320 for Hey, man. Big shout outs to my dog, Earl. Earl sent them Allen Dupatit suits, them thirty nine dollars. Huh? You got the suit in? Yeah, bro. It's on. It's in the mail, bro. It's in that bitch in an envelope, bro. <laughs> send that nigga suit in an envelope. I ain't bro. gonna lie, bro. They can see in that bit. They can see in that bit in Saran wrap. I be <laughs> for thirty nine dollars. I ain't gonna argue. I ain't gonna be mad. That nigga thought it was a t shirt, bro. He like. You probably thought that was that T-shirt was uh, Stan T-shirt. Like, damn, they go, like they go damn. Stan sent the T-shirt in. You open up like, bro, I can't wait to see this shit, bro. There'll be a suit in that bitch. Yeah, it's suit. It'll be for like a T-shirt, bro. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> nah, man. Earl said the uh, the quality top notch. So I do. You know, right. I'm looking forward to hey, that. Ner er Neural. Neural. Earl had on, <laughs> <laughs> Earl had on some fire suits this weekend, bro. Show and them, them Allen Du Petites. Hey, if y'all, that's the fact, name of them, bro. Yeah, bro. Let me go ahead and do my. Uh, they did that shit off um, the Cosby <laughs> Show. You remember when Cle? What's his name? Theo. Yeah, Theo. Cleo. Yeah, Theo. That was his name. What was that? Well, he may had that fucked up shirt. <laughs> I oh, do that was, remember that was Garcon or something. Like that. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna tell you what, man. I'm about to order me like five of these suits. Mm -hmm. I might just go on like I, right now. I think I could go a month in a different suit. Okay. Challenge accepted. Every day, new suit. Every day. suit challenge. Damn, bro, you gonna put me on the spot? I gotta do the different suit a day. You just said it, nigga. I'm just saying, I think I, I can. Know. I think I can. I think I can. A little engine that could, bro. I'm close. You probably got a engine. I might. Thomas, I might wear a blazer or two twice. 
All right, so next week you start wearing a suit. Oh, say week. less. Every episode? Every episode. You ain't said week. nothing but a word. This month almost over, though. You ain't said nothing but a word. How about October? All right. Everything. October. So in the I'm month October. of October, everything we record is going to have, I'm going to be in a suit. All right. I'm, I'm, I got some button ups and shit I just bought that I've been waiting to break out. This nigga ridiculous, man. All right, so <laughs> starting October. I'm going to get me an ascot. Every day. No, every time we record. Every time we which record. Which is Tuesdays. Uh-huh. At 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Suit. Suit and tie. Suit and tie. I might have to well, loosen that bit out. All right. All right. I'm going to set a reminder on my phone. So that, uh. All right, bro. How you, rem- how you forget? You the suit, man. You're not going to forget. <laughs> You're going to be suit, happy. You're going to be looking for it. <laughs> you ain't lying, bro. It's like, like Bray said, you got to wear a bow tie, too. Oh, I do got a polka dot bow tie. I got a I got a bean pie bow tie. Stop it, man. Stop it, man. <laughs> Marcel said you off the crown. You are. Yes, sir. You see, I got the bottle like right here by the cup. It's yeah, on my yeah, side. Like I ain't even sharing. Yeah, it was more than that, but I remember it being more than that. Oh, it was a lot more. I think it was above the label. That man Devin came here the other day, man. That nigga <laughs> Cause he Cause last time he was here, he we ain't really had no liquor like that. So this nigga had like one of them big ass ignorant ass gas station cups, and he poured all that liquor in that. Yeah, he poured liquor in there. That, I was like, all right, that bro. niggas are not. I'm gonna tell you what, man. I almost wanted to big boot his ass. I would have. Devin called me an alcohol. I mean, Devin called me Ryan one time. He said, "I'm t- I'm turning into Ryan." What does that what? mean? Like, you know, when Ryan was drinking. A good husband. A good father to his son. That's what that nigga Ryan is. Well, I think what he meant was I was taking Ryan's, like, I I swept in where Ryan left off. You know what I mean? Like, where he stepped away from, Mm. I had stepped into. And I don't know that. I was going to say, I don't know that I want to be there. You know what I mean? That's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at at all. At all. I know he ain't trying to. He's trying to say you turn it. I don't know. He's trying I think to say he was trying so, to say I'm I'm, I'm drinking oh, okay. too much. <laughs> Sorry, man. I don't, think, I, I don't, I don't think there's a such thing if you're not belligerent when you're drunk. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm just a little cone. You ain't got no DM. Do you, do you have a DUI? Nah, I thought you were about to say DMVs. I was going. <laughs> what? Oh, like no. Do you have any D? Do you have me? Have you almost caught a DUI? Nah, never, never, never. Almost caught a DUI. I almost caught a DWI. What is that? Driving while influenced. I had. What's that, the difference? Oh damn! I had that big reefer Cohiba. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you just driving with while smoking a blunt, that's a DWI. Supposedly, supposedly, but I mean, hey. So that mean like driving while influencing or something? I guess so. while influenced. Yeah. While influenced. Okay. Yeah. That's crazy. But I don't know, man. The laws have changed so much on that that um, honestly, I don't pay no mind to it. Uh, officer caught me. I had a little bit of bud. I, I was honest with him. Sorry, that was supposed to be inside my head. I didn't mean to say that all out. So you know, I had to let him know, like, hey, bro, this is where we at. You let me know what we can do. <laughs> Bro was like, don't worry, man. I'm going to look out for you this time. I say, I appreciate you, cracker. What right, <laughs> what, what if it was like, dude, it was like that, that video of Philly where that nigga was like, all right, I know I just caught you with the blunt. Uh-huh. Let's box it out for five minutes. <laughs> Oh, bro, I definitely would have gave him the hand. I would have did exactly right, like bro did. Your high gave ass him the hand. Your high ass would have got beat the fuck up. I don't know, bro. I don't, I, I don't know, bro. The nigga ain't never tested me while I was high. And they got bolo fire skills. I can't lie that. I, 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 matter of fact, I can't lie. When we left the uh, J. Cole, uh, that, that, that Dreamville Festival All right, bro. two Why years you ago. Went to J- you went to a J. Cole concert? Yeah, bro. I went I to a festival, bro. 21 Savage was there, man. I had to go see my nigga. I seen 21 Savage perform like five times that year. <coughs> 2018. Uh-huh. I think I saw him like every chance I could. I think I I've saw- seen like videos of that nigga <laughs> perform. He looks pretty bad while performing. It's like- not, it's nothing, it's nothing exciting about it. But I, uh-huh. I I've come to fuck with his music so heavy mm. that I think I just enjoyed, you know what I mean? Like watching him live. Like I, I did enjoy myself for sure uh, during his set. <laughs> Hold on, what time out? Nelson G. He said, "150 Patreons 
and Joe and Devin got a slap box with suits on, like the nineteen twenties <laughs> prohibition shit. We gotta have this kind of setup. We gotta, du- we gotta duke it out. <laughs> First of all, Devin got a fight already. Eric, yeah, that he that he already that he is conveniently <laughs> avoiding. Eric was about to pull up tonight. He was like, "Man, what Devin? I'm about to knock this nigga out." I was like, "Man, pull up next week, bro." Bruh, Devin ain't here, bro. <laughs> it might, matter of fact, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Devin might not be here all month. <laughs> <laughs> Devin told me he running, bro. Damn, I say, man, crazy. damn, do I need to uh, renege on my bet? Guaranteed next week. Eric guaranteed it. He said, hell. Hell, high, hell of high water? Hell of high water. He said, I'm He whooping here. ass. He said, he's going to be here next week. So I don't know. He said, he knocking somebody out. <laughs> so I don't know who he's going to knock out, but I don't know. He said, he knock, if it's if me. He, and, whoa, if, it's, whoa. if he left with me, it's going to be a. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he better wake up. Oh, yeah, next week episode three twenty one. Eric will be here, and if Devin ain't here, then <laughs> he he fight one of us. Coochie, man. <laughs> I ain't fighting that man. It might be consistent. Nah, I ain't gonna say what I'm about to say. Uh, but I ain't fighting. <laughs> you know what I was about to say? I ain't fighting that man. But <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, one fifty. It's pretty interesting. You and you and uh, Devin, Devin with suits on. Suits. Matter of fact, I'm gonna loosen up my tie before we get started. Like. <laughs> <laughs> So I can put us in the, you know, set set the setting. You already torture right there, man. There's nothing really else you can prove. <laughs> I don't know what wearing suits and slap boxes are gonna prove. I got a picture of my phone of a man torture wrecking a horse, and I think I talked about it on a previous episode. But that's like my daily inspiration. You ever seen that picture of um, Brock Lesnar F five and a shark? <laughs> oh my God, oh, no! Girl, you know I gotta put it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, you never see this. <laughs> Bro, the F5 right is such a like devastating move. I couldn't imagine the blood rushing to my head and this big ass nigga. <laughs> there you go. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. You never seen this before? I never seen that. That's crazy. He just F5. I don't know who edited it. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, bro, it's already crazy enough. He F5 and a He's picking up a shark. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, that shark shouldn't have been talking shit. I tell you what. Uh, What was the village name in... um? What was that movie with Will Smith? The village? Uh, the, the, not the village. Um, The Reef. I think that was the name of the movie. Will Smith. You yeah, don't remember yeah, that? I think you're drunk. You talking about when he was a, a when fish? When he was a fish, yeah. What was the name of that movie? I'm about to tell I'm about to say Shark Tales. Shark Tales. That is it. There wasn't no Shark Tales. It was Shark was like, Tales, bro. Man, that nigga Will Smith was like in some knockoff like fish movie. No, fish bro. Tales. That shit was fire, bro. It was Shark Tales. Hold on, bro. Let me look. Let me look Google. up. Google, Google, Google Shark Tales. Nah, oh, he wasn't Shark, shark Tale. Tale. I was wrong. I was right, but that I was nigga wrong. worked for a uh, uh, a whale wash. I thought. Hold up, I thought with two big two Jamaicans. Hold up, what was the one where Ellen was in? Oh, she was in Finding Nemo. She was in Finding Nemo. Yeah, I think she played like Dory or something. I sort never of. know any of the uh, voices for unless they're like easily distinguishable. Yeah. I never know any yeah, of the like voices when that nigga for Chris my Rock animated. played like a fucking zebra or some shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that's a dead giveaway. Bro, I saw Madagascar in the theater as a grown man. I respect that. I you, fuck you with you. I that. fuck with you, bro. Sorry, bro. I felt the shame. I seen a B movie. Nah, too. bro. I fuck with. Uh, hey, I I watch any animated movie any chance I get. I had a uh, Camaro, right? Mm-hmm. My brother had gave me a Camaro. Um, like when I turned like. 18 or 19, he had got another car. He gave me his Camaro, and uh, it had a TV in it, two 12s. Mm-hmm. Nigga, you would think I'm beating, bleeding the block man, with, like, some Boosie or something, I right? I remember that bum-ass Camaro, man. All right, man. chill out. Chill yeah. out, bro. That, that. that, that shit that was fire, ass. bro. That shit was olive green. Bro, that had one door, bro. Stop no, it man. did, bro. Yeah. Chill out. <laughs> You see how they try to do me on the podcast nigga now. To, bro, nigga had to step in the car. Bro, like I, used big show. I used to blare. I used to blare them you're not speakers. A, you're not a beating big down show. the block, right, knocking pictures off the wild. the wall. 
That shit had factory speakers. Man, stop it, bro. You had I, I had them two twelves. Nigga had the TV and the dash. You know what I'm saying? Oh, um, hold on. And joke. I used to ride around watching Kung Fu Panda, bro. <laughs> All right, man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, bro, that movie was fire, bro. Yeah. Wait, what's TV. the point of having... Ain't it... Hold on. That shit illegal as fuck. Well, all right, it was first of all, who the, the fuck gonna watch TVs in a Camaro, nigga? I you gonna barely sit in the back seat. Hey, nigga, nigga I'm, I ain't had nobody in the back seat. So you just had the TVs in the back? No, nah, I had a TV in the front, <laughs> nigga. That, yeah, that's illegal like a motherfucker. I was watching TV. I'm 80 miles an hour on the highway. I know I told you that time. When hey, that, watch when this come, watch when the Kung Fu Panda beat this tiger ass. <laughs> <laughs> you, you you remember that time I had told you I seen a nigga in a box Chevy, and that nigga had four TVs, and that nigga was playing booty talk. Yeah, I do remember <laughs> that. That's a disturbing oh, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's a sexual deviant, bro. Right? Something bro. wrong with you, man. That nigga called himself Mr. Cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> that was Mr. Cheeks. Man. <laughs> That nigga's a predator, bro. I almost called a cop. I'm like, all right, man, this kid's like. <laughs> hey, Mr. Officer, this nigga is watching Booty Talk 97. Right, I don't nasty. know if you've seen it, you but. You nasty if you know the number of the Booty Talk that nigga's watching. I knew, a, uh, I knew a white guy. I said it before once. But I knew a white guy. He used to try and talk about that shit. I'm like, yo, we not talking about no fucking. At work? Bruh, Yes. That's we used to work in construction. I'm like, yo, it's too many niggas. It's too many men. I never worked construction. I always heard that niggas in construction is like wired different. They are. Like, bruh, some of them niggas be, well, they are from like out of prison type shit, but um, they act like they in prison. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I don't know if you've ever been on one of them scared straight tours. No, nigga. My cousin, my, my cousin was on scared straight. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, would you want to scare it straight to her? I mean, I did visit a jail. Right. <laughs> but I would like to know. Finish what you about to say and please tell us about how you was on a scare straight to her. Well, I'm gonna start by saying I was wild. I was wild, bro. I was young, wild, and reckless, bro. Uh. That was like Mr. Jefferson. Nah, that wasn't Mr. Jefferson, bro. That was. What was you about to say before you said you was about to go to scare straight to her? Uh, well, when them niggas see like women and shit like that, they just go like over the top. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, because people in period. With a bunch of niggas. Yeah. Of course, you know what I mean. So, um, my first experience, like my first day in the construction, man, it was a shit show. It was a zoo. Niggas was hollering at everything, like, and I don't mean like hollering, like, "Yo, what's happening." Oh, they're like the regular stereotype, like I mean, like them niggas woman, was any woman they see, they just go crazy. They're running to the side of a ship, yelling to the <laughs> dock, "Hey, baby, <laughs> hey, hey, girl, what's that? What's up? That's Come crazy, aboard!" Man. Like this, after is a, they just told you they love their wife. This is a hard hat area. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Well, hey, yeah, I got a shorty at home. Talk about your scared straight experience. Oh, uh, bro. That was crazy, honestly. I couldn't even believe my mama put me up to the shit. What did you do for the being? What do you what, you what did you do? Like first, let me ask you this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to say I appreciate you buying me a torch, right? Uh-huh. Well, first of all, that's not your torch. No, no, no. It's not like you're about to take it. That's no, no, no. Way you're talking I might right now. need to. All right. Cause the one you got me. I can get you another one. Don't work at all. Actually, uh, I gotta right. click that motherfucker ten times. I got carpal tunnel. So I'm like trying just, to light this motherfucker. So like you smoke too much and you probably used it. I might oh. have. I might have. Cause I ain't gonna lie, big cohebas been in there since I've been at the crib. You know what I mean? Mm. Blood app dog, blood app dog, blood. <laughs> <laughs> you ever heard that Danny Brown song Blunt After Blunt? Nah. You never heard it? No. Nah. You, you listen to Danny, bro? I tried. I would I would play it, but the stream will get taken down. Yeah, let's, play, not do let's not do that though. We play it we'll play it yeah. afterwards. Yeah, but, man, um, you can put me on my pop and lock is impeccable. Well, yeah, I get Couple you, I get you another that. torch. Just don't touch that one. I mean, don't take that one. <laughs> I need I'll try. I need to set some fires, man. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga is a true arsonist. What's the 
What's the uh I know you probably you smoke a lot, so you uh-huh. probably you probably ran out of lighters. What's the most crackhead shit you ever did to light up a blunt? Mm. I ain't gonna lie, I tried to find Flint one time. Okay. Michigan? No, 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 no. Like, if I ain't mistaken, that's what it's called. Flint is like feather. Like, it's like hair. And you strike a rock to spark that bitch, bro. Yeah, I was was a boy scout or some shit. I was was a boy scout shit, bro. Oh, I I seen that before. (laughs) You remember how they used to say you rub two sticks together, start a fire? (laughs) Yeah. Rubbing two sticks together to start Does a fire. You gotta go to rehab, after that. nigga. You gotta like, go to rehab. <laughs> bro. Now, I've seen niggas they try and like light a blunt on like a light bulb or some shit like that. I Have ain't you ever never been tried that, that down bad? Nah, nah, nah. Um, I I use the stove frequently. I mean, I try to be resourceful. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So, um, I've heard of a I heard a nigga light uh, his blunt off his motor one time. And I was like, bro, you different. I've, I've, I've actually seen that before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, you different. It's a video of this nigga, Young Thug. Somebody had a motorcycle, and that nigga uh, lit his blunt on, like, the, what they call this the shit? Muffler the muffler. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, yeah. yeah. Um, I think that, uh, like I say, I try to be resourceful. Um, I probably got a matter of 20 lighters somewhere in my house. I don't know where niggas be taking them. Don't look at me, man. I don't take them. <laughs> so you, about, you, son, you about to take my torch, man. But I do a pocket check for you. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I mean, I buy matches. Um, I've used a match before. Man, somebody gave me this shit one time. I swear to God, it was like a handheld taser, like like a palm sized taser. Mm. And they was like, yo, light your blunt with this. Hey, nigga. Okay, keep talking. I got an outrage. I don't video know if I'm going to do this. Like, <laughs> I tried it one time. Bruh, the, the inhale of it was so harsh. Like, it was such a, I don't know. I had never in my life smoked something like it, right? I was like, yo, bro. I wouldn't this you might you might want to go check your doctor. How long have you been <laughs> using your this lighter? You know what I mean? He was like, no, no, no. I just use it for crazy shit. I was like, all right, we might need to stop talking. Bruh, when you click it, like I say, it worked like a taser. He was like, yeah, just stick your blunt in the middle. And you shouldn't be able to light a blunt with electricity like this. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Let me show you this one video, man. I seen this today. We were speaking of tasers. Mm-hmm. This lady, she just randomly was in a bed. Oh. <laughs> you, oh. You ever see that video? <laughs> I haven't. I've seen people do shit like that, but that makes no sense to me. And that bit was on, bro. That shit was crazy to me. Yeah, Shawty definitely got her rocks off. That was somebody mama, too. Imagine, yeah, I, I put it, I already put it down, bro. My yeah. son said that's dirty. I don't know what he was referencing to, but. He's probably talking <laughs> about that. That suit talk you was talking about. That suit talk. Hey, the well, suit talk. What ain't happened never when you had one to scare straight though? Oh, um, honestly, I don't remember what I was doing. Matter of fact, I think I had beat somebody up, and my mama was like, "Hey, like a way to go to scare straight. Hey, if you keep this up, <laughs> if you keep beating niggas' asses, you're gonna go to scare straight. <laughs> no, you're gonna go to jail." I was like 13, 14. I was like, "Ma, I don't think it worked like this." I don't know. Most people, if they had a kid and they could just keep beating people's asses, they just put them in boxing lessons. My mom was actually afraid that I would kill someone. She told my cousin was best friend with Roy Jones. Rocky three. Yeah. All right. So if I had a nigga, if I nah nigga, if I had a kid <laughs> that was constantly beating, hey little nigga, if I had a kid that was constantly beating people's asses, and I just so happened to know. Mm-hmm. Roy Jones Jr. I'll put that nigga in boxing lessons. Roy Jones asked my mom to marry him, <coughs> marry him at a red light. Oh, that nigga was drunk. Nah, he was. I think at the time, crazy. But uh, <laughs> he's crazy now. He's about to get his ass beat, beat by, by Mike Tyson. Yeah, yeah. yeah supposedly, doing, from he, what I heard, he's he trying Trump to back rally. out. He's doing Trump rallies. Yeah, man, when I seen that shit, that's your that's your OG, bruh. 
Nah, I ain't never said that. That's your OG. I ain't you never said, said you that. Came nah. here, you, I ain't you, never said you came you on here. You came on here. OG now. You said you was chasing chickens. I, with Roy all Jones right. Jr. All right. All right. And you was beating kids' ass. I said and, we right? learned. It was, how it was to... clearly rubbing off on you. <laughs> to the fact you was beating kids up. You thought you was Roy Jones Jr. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> I definitely thought I was Roy Jones at a point. When I moved to Jacksonville, oh, nigga, let me tell you, I used to go to school. You know where I'm from? Nobody, all right, so you just tell no people. No one you, knows where Nobody where Pensacola from, bro. <laughs> nobody cares where it's at except you and Roy Jones Jr. Hey, bro, we'll, both of us will beat a nigga ass. <laughs> Hope for the P, bro. What but you, you want to say? But you should have you should have took boxing lesson. You just beat niggas ass. I should have, bro. And I'm tapping in with Big Roy. I done I done told I done expressed my anger with my. How many times you met Roy Jones Jr. Bro, I ain't never met Roy Jones Jr. Okay. One time you should have lied and said like, one time we was. A, I'm gonna be honest, man. Nah, lie, honest. lie. <laughs> one time we was nah. Um, uh, by the time I realized my cousin was best friends with Roy Jones. Mm. My cousin had got real sick, and um, he shortly passed after that. So, unfortunately, you know, honestly, it it never really became fruitful love. But at the time that he was alive, what he was trying to do was he was trying to um, teach me how to box and whatnot. Because, of, like I say, with my cousin, it was crazy because when I got into trouble, my mom would call him immediately. And all she had to do was say, yo, Mike on the way. <coughs> now, I, I button up. Oh, this is Mike Pops? I'm assuming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so Mike is a junior. Okay. And um, um, man, my cousin Mike, he was that dude, yo. Like, he used to break dance. <laughs> well, I've, I've seen you and his son box before. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Seven. Actually, that wasn't boxing. That was a choke <laughs> slamming con- a choke <laughs> slamming contest. <laughs> bro, that nigga had me so mad in Texas. They want to randomly fight. I'm like, hey, bro, I'm trying to drink, smoke, and chill. Nigga, like, nah, I'm going to beat your ass, bro. <laughs> that nigga kept telling me that. It's like, what's wrong with you? I just randomly remember that uh, that ASAP Rocky roof, rooftop concert. And y'all niggas was drunk as hell. And, like, I'm pretty sure y'all wasn't even able to. What? I think y'all was under 21. Yeah, nah, nah. I, I, we both, yeah, we both was under. I think I was twenty at max. Yeah, you was twenty. My birthday was coming up, but I um, think I, I was like twenty one. Yeah, I don't know who. I don't know how y'all was getting the drinks because I was like, no, Bruh, you I don't even know how we got in because that was the thing. It was a twenty one and up show. We just walked right in that motherfucker. Oh, they thought you was ASAP mob. That's probably why. <laughs> I thought you was fur, nigga. Hey, these niggas are beats mad. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody said that when they see you. Yeah, man. stop it, bro. <laughs> stop Nobody it. said that when stop they see it, bro. you. They utter that shit, bro. Don't let this shit fool y'all, yeah, this man. This nigga like hey. a junkie. I'm just All right. All right. <laughs> let him in. Yeah, of course. He look like he's going to sell of course. Sell Rocky some That fine-ass Asian that told me she was future manager wasn't tell, talk about no junkie, nigga. You ain't lying, you nigga. <laughs> Why would I stop her? Why would I stop her? Why would I stop her? She could tell me she been to the moon and back. You probably believed her ass too. Nigga. I'm future manager. I ain't right now. I want for ass. You probably gave future some head or some shit like that. <laughs> now she future manager. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. That's a, that's a lot of niggas tell. Women know not supposed to tell lies like that. Right. Like, w- like, what does that do for me, you telling me you future manager? I don't know. I have no clue, actually. It worked on you, my nigga. No, it didn't. <laughs> Shot, d- deny me the fact, Shawty. She was told bad. you she was she future me manager. The fact was this mad. nigga just started rapping his whole, a whole Stop verse. Stop it, bro. Nigga, we <laughs> in the middle of a concert. Hey. Nigga was like, you want to hear the ad libs too? <laughs> 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 I can play you the beat. Just keep this cadence in <laughs> mind. <laughs> Hold the. <laughs> uh, and then gave, but that yeah. nigga gave her the phone. He's like, hold the beat up to your <laughs> ear. I'm on a rap for you. <laughs> Shawty had it playing in one ear. I was in the other on my L Cool J. Nigga licked my lips before I started rapping. <laughs> I'm like, Baby. Joe, why you're rapping? <laughs> Bro, she future manager, though. I all right, man. She's not future manager. 
Hey, before we I know get, for a fact she's. <laughs> hey, before we go, y'all, I got to rap to the to this chick, man. Why? What? What do you mean, Joe? Hey, man, she future manager, bro. <laughs> bro, hey, you told me she says you're a future manager. I said, shut the fuck up, man. All right, shut hey. up, man. <laughs> Hey, look. That nigga Devin, it was, that nigga it was Devin brief was, entertainment. That nigga for Devin the night, was like, dog. That nigga Devin was like, word. <laughs> that nigga was about to start rapping, bro. We know he love future. <laughs> that nigga Devin was like, where is he? Bro, I almost <laughs> spit all over your table, bro. <laughs> <laughs> His future, <laughs> nigga Devin was like, his future where here is right he? now. Where, where, is that him? Matter of fact, it was a special guest that night. I forget who the special guest was. Like, uh, it was a, it was a, a rapper like uh, at the time, but that was Theophilus. What's that the, nigga? Uh, Theophilus uh, uh, London. Yeah, um, that nigga definitely thought it was Future finna come out. So, it's Future. Is that, him? is that him? When I told Devin it was Future uh, manager, he was like, uh, <coughs> "Is he coming? <laughs> when is he coming out?" <laughs> I'm I can a, skip all this ASAP shit. I'm gonna get her autograph. <laughs> all right, bro, stop it, bro. Can she, she gonna introduce us? <laughs> like, bro, I don't. I, I don't think that is true. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild, man. Well, my cut back to Scare Straight. My cousin was on Scare Straight. And he was like, actually, I don't know if you remember this, but like back in the day, Scare Straight used to be on MTV. Mm. That nigga was on MTV. That's crazy. It was an uncensored version because I remember MTV, they censored all that shit. But Scared Straight, I used to play that shit with all the cuss words. <laughs> That's my, funny. I seen my cousin was on there. He wasn't like one of the prominent kids. Right. But he was on the episode. People got to remember this episode of Scared Straight. It was episode, it was a like white kid on that bitch. And, oh my um, God, nigga, I think I know exactly where you're going. <laughs> the pocket one. Yes, my yes, cousin ho- was on that episode. That's bruh. No, he's not. <laughs> I swear, <laughs> that nigga is on the pocket episode. I'm scared straight. That's bro. a classic. I'm gonna have to find that and pull that up next week. Bro, he cousin. should frame his picture like you know how they do the uh, the pan <laughs> shots and people just be standing there. They catch like the side view. He should post his picture up like a mug shot on his wall. Hey, uh, this one, I don't know what my cousin up to. This is when I was on Scared Straight, y'all. I don't know what that nigga up to. Now. Yeah. I haven't seen that nigga since like 2000 and like maybe All right, so tell us five, this. maybe. The people want to know, was he scared straight? No, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no. Like the next year that nigga had a kid at like 15. No, that shit ain't work at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, dog. It's not the what I'm about to say. Not actually, next is not funny. That they had a kid at 15, and I forgot where why we was up there. It was around the time my other cousin died, so we was kind of mm-hmm. like meeting up a lot more. Yeah, and that nigga had a girlfriend, and they was both like 15 to 16. He got her pregnant, and like this was before she got pregnant. That nigga was, we was in the hotel. That nigga had DDT'd her on the ground. I was like, all right, yeah, scared straight didn't work for that nigga. <laughs> that, that nigga, that Bruh, nigga needed that's a That's not re- funny. That nigga needed a refill of scared straight. <laughs> <laughs> nigga needed a real. Can I get a re? <laughs> they should have put that nigga on scared straight too, bro. <laughs> Two point <laughs> that, 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 that shit didn't work. He should have been the one holding the pocket, not that white kid. Bruh. Cause he was like we seen the nigga on. That would have been a Devin story. Like, had you told me that, uh, that yeah, that was my white cousin holding a holding a pocket. <laughs> I would have been clearly that, like that's something I would have. Nah, I'm saying like if your cousin, if you even told me your cousin was holding a pocket on Scared Straight, I would have been like, nah, bro. You mean Devin cousin? <laughs> nah, you lying. Nigga. <laughs> You talking about that Yakub kid? <laughs> nah, but that nigga was on the episode where the white kid was holding a pocket. He was in the background. We seen that nigga. And I was watching it with my dad. My dad said, you keep it up. You going to be on here too. I was like, nigga, I, don't, I just be talking in school. Nigga, I just be hacking the internet. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I'm a class clown, bro. That's all, bro. That's not going to be a big scared straight. This nigga stealing out stores and shit. That's, dog. I was a class clown. I, I wouldn't even say I was a class clown. I would say I was the class disruptor. Same, There's no same better difference. It is, but I think that 
there's no better way to describe it. I mm. rapped over the uh <coughs> you seen Bennett like Beckham? No, nah, I never seen that green ass shit. All right, for some reason <laughs> in my English class we had to watch that movie one time. I think it was like based on like cultural differences. Yeah. And um wasn't it like a British movie or some shit? Didn't it it was like, like a, a British movie with Indian like based around a uh, Indian girl. Yeah. So it was a, it was it's actually an interesting movie. But long story short, um every time the Indian beat dropped I used to rap in class. They used to play Pajambi MC, nigga? Nah, I was like ahead of my time, bro. You know how like Future be on the Indian shit, bro? I was like, yeah. Let me uh, go ahead and catch this wave. Is that the proper term for it? Because I don't want to get us, get us canceled, man. Is it? I mean, they are Indian. All right, man. I'm, I'm, I'm saying like, what? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I'm just I'm just talking. Because I know for America, it's Native Americans. No. Nah, you can't say Native American. It's indigenous people. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, I forgot. Now, nah, matter of fact, that's the drink, y'all. That's the drink because I am educated. Uh-huh. You bought some suits from some indigenous people before. I bought some suits from some Negro. <laughs> nigga, I, bought some, nigga, I, nigga, I bought some suits from who? Nah, nigga, I bought some suits from some people. Now, nah. some people. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. I get it from my grandfather, man. Let me tell y'all a funny story. Now, my grandfather is the most respectable man that you'll ever see, right? In Pensacola, the only person in Pensacola that not Roy Jones Jr. in a suit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to spread. <laughs> That nigga Roy Jones go to press my grandfather and he have to knock him out. Nah, for real. Hey, my grandfather definitely what's your don't grandfather, play no What's your grandfather's name? Charles. Charles. He like, Roy Jones, after he got beat up, he's like, man, it's like they get beat up by Mike Tyson. He's like, damn, this the beat is Mr. Charles. Right. He's like, there's a Charles. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, everyone knew Mike, him. Mike Tyson be doing a press conference. He's like, he just kept calling me Charles. Um, <laughs> that's, um, that's, uh, that's why I go by Mr. Jefferson. Everybody in Pensacola knew him as Mr. Jefferson. But uh, my grandfather, he support Trump. all. No, all right, <laughs> all right, all right, now <laughs> <laughs> we had our rounds, bro. Yeah. I don't want to get this started again. <laughs> he was pretty mad at me about the Chuck Norris story. All right. <laughs> Um, well, you shouldn't be mad. I'm trying to get my payment. All right, that was a light. That was light. That was light. That was light. I'm just warning you. Let's not go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not continue. Something um, light. so my grandfather, he um, <coughs> he um, he support like all the local business, all the local people. Cause I'm not even going to say businesses. He he's definitely support businesses, of course, yeah. but he go to like the flea market and niggas that be like making their own jeans and like trying to hustle their own shoes and shit. Yeah. He, he support them too. My I bet you don't know, know about some bullshit. Bro, my grandfather came home one time and he had New Orleans Saint patches on the back pockets of two jeans. I, yeah. I be mean, on his jeans. Nigga had some Drew Brees. Jeans. I was like, nah, bro. I was like, <laughs> bro, them Jordan jeans. Get the <laughs> granddaddy. You can't wear these. Like, nigga had on Jordan jeans. He was like, all right, I'll fold these and keep them. You know, I just. <laughs> and I want to be able to say I supported him. He came home one day and he was wearing the shoes. Like now, my grandfather, he got you know he got style and all of that, right? Now, especially when it comes to a suit. My grandfather, two player in a suit, but he came home one day. Yeah, yeah it's Mr. Brotherly Love put Joe Daddy on the screen. Joe Granddaddy right, on the screen. Chill, bro, I chill. remember Joe Granddaddy. <laughs> He had on them suits. He had on, hey. he had on them Saints pants. I remember that. He desired that. <laughs> he desired them, them, them Saints you pants. Used, you used to wear the collar shirt with the blades over the top. We I remember forget. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> that was Joe Granddaddy. We ain't forget that. <laughs> All right, bro. You can cut this off. <laughs> Nigga, fuck the brotherly love <laughs> instrumental, bro. Hey, look. I got to add that to the soundboard. If I had it, if I had that <laughs> instrumental at the time, 
I would have played it for the time my heart broke when my granddaddy came home in a pair of Reeboks with like, like dollars all over them. And he was like, hey man, I nigga went had, to the flea market. He had on the Jamal Mashburn Reeboks. He was like, man, one of my old students, he was, he was trying to sell, <laughs> sell me his shoes for $30. I said, granddaddy, because they were $30, you shouldn't have bought them. He said, hey, 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 you got to support the brothers and sisters. Now, he big in the, like, NAACP, Your like, pa, he's one of the leaders. Cool. He trying to think you a coon. Nah, chill, <laughs> chill, chill. <laughs> Your granddaddy like, Joe, come here. Oh, yeah. Lord have mercy, another coon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's go ahead and support this new <laughs> <laughs> you right, Greg. They let me go get some three box. Let me, let me, let me thirty dollars. <laughs> All right, <laughs> but nah. I mean, he bought like, like I say. I just bring it up to say my grandfather buys any and everything black owned. Uh -huh. He like, and I mean, he still supports Nike and uh, you know shit like that. Like he'll go and get name brand shit. You know uh -huh. what I mean. I got some. He dressed good. Some brims to sell him. He he, <laughs> he dressed nice day to day. You know what I mean. But uh -huh. when it comes to brother and sister, yeah. Hey, they could be selling anything. My grandfather like, hey, I just bought it. I don't plan to use it, but I supported her. I supported her brother <laughs> I today. Bet your grandma sick of that day. Man, my grandmother be doing the same <laughs> shit, <laughs> Bruh, My grandmother just refused to get rid of shit. My grandmother be having all kinds of like figurines, folks done made. I'm like grandmother, what is this? Grandma, what is this? I hey, think man, I respect it. I think that's a dog. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Someone was selling clay on the I side of the road. I say, I mean, hey, when you well off and you ain't got to worry about bread, what you know? Every time they see your grandma, they be like, "Hey, they go that lady that be buying bullshit again. We we'll go sell her today." <laughs> so it's this, nah, they don't be selling this skunk fur hat. They don't, don't be, they don't be hoodwink, but I, you know what I'm saying? Side swipe, scallywag. It's probably a Puerto Rican finesse on her. It's like, yeah, she think I'm black. But like I say, I mean, they will support. They will support the African Americans. You know what I mean? Nah, yeah, I respect, bro. I can't even judge it. I'm getting some jokes off, of course, but I respect it, bro. Yeah, man. Hey, let them fly. Let them fly. <laughs> my, my mama always said, well, you know the truth. Don't nothing else matter. Don't nothing I agree, else matter. Man. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I paint all of this shit as a joke. Like I say, my granddaddy came home in them New Orleans Saints. I played the uh, when the troops come marching. For hours, you bro. Get, you a spanking, bro. Respect your elders, you bro, young punk. No, bro. I did What's a march. I led a marching What's band. What's wrong with you? Respect I gave my elders. brother. Uh, I had a paper towel roll. Like we was down to the last one on one of right, them. Bro, you wonder why you was on scared. I went on bro. ahead, and tore that off, through, balled it up, threw it away. We don't need this little piece. We got some more rolls. <laughs> I took that little cardboard. Don't waste some of my paper. This black on. I'm the. I'm the. <laughs> Nigga bought it from a nigga. <laughs> it's, but that's some black owned paper you just wasted, you coon. I was in the uh I was in the living room like a band instructor, bro. <laughs> yeah, you should have whooped you, bro. <laughs> oh, when the Saints. Oh when... <laughs> hey, your grandpa was too lax. He should have whooped you, bro. I would have you got whooped in a green household. I'm just playing. <laughs> green ass nigga. Hey, that's my that's my name, bro. Don't worry yeah. out. Yes. Green ass I've nigga. heard that joke so many times. <laughs> <laughs> when, especially with the attendance. Anthony Green, man, that nigga Green. All right, man, shut the fuck up, bro. We're in the 12th grade now, bro. Stop saying, <laughs> stop it, dog. We're 18. <laughs> Let's grow up. <laughs> <laughs> grow the fuck up, man. <laughs> yeah. We're almost in college. <laughs> nigga, that happened in college, nigga. That's why you shouldn't go to a community college, bro. That's funny. Send your kid to a university. <laughs> you ever seen Community? The show? Yeah. Nah, because it had that one nigga in it, man. <laughs> Donald before, Glover? Yeah, before he was black. <laughs> I watched Atlanta because he black now, but I ain't watching when he was in Community because he was a... <laughs> he was an Oreo then. <laughs> I, I watched him in Atlanta. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. It was like <laughs> before Atlanta. That's came, hilarious. Before Atlanta came out, they were like, "Bro, you watching Atlanta or Atlanta?" 
like, man, who it got in that shit, man? They got, got Donald Glover in it. Oh, <laughs> Oh man! Then I seen oh, that commercial. Funny, I seen a commercial with Paperboy. Oh, I watch this shit. I check it out. <laughs> I watch it, man. Like it's he, a little. It's, it's black. <laughs> yeah, like he learned a little something, man. Uh, Community was funny though. I, I got some chuckles. I was off. a Parks and Rec guy. Uh, I like Parks and Rec better than Community. I never. I like tried to watch it, and I think I was just too late. I might try and get back into it, but I was too late into the um to the over, swing bro. of thing. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I was I watched community after it was over. But it was funny to me. I ain't think that shit was funny, bro. Really? And that shit had, like Chevy Chase or some shit in there. Yeah. That? I fucked with Chevy Chase. I fucked that nigga, man. Yeah, bro. I'm I'm joking, bro. I used to watch the National Lampoon as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> but Chevy Chase been in a lot of that shit. Nigga said Chevy like, Chase. That's Wiz Khalifa, nigga. That's not that's not his name. That's not how you, it's Chevy Chase. <laughs> ain't that that ain't that Wiz Khalifa weed carrier? Chevy Chase. I, I think it's like Chevy Woods. Chevy Woods, bro. That's yeah. your homie, ain't it? Uh, well, we we met. That nigga we gave met, me his no, number. We uh, met. My bro, you that was that nigga name. You got that nigga number in your phone. That, that 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 was a funny experience. Like it was an interesting experience. You know what I'm saying? Joe, the only nigga in Duval that got Chevy Woods number in his phone. Nah, I'm gonna tell y'all a funny story. Uh, there's a um, there's a uh, artist from Jax, and in my opinion, one of the like he is very talented. One of the most like creative artists, right? Uh, Rob Roy, Robert Raymond Roy. Now, um, shout out to him. Yeah, big shout outs to Rob Roy. Cause like Rob Roy, uh, I knew Rob Roy was a substitute teacher. He and Jax. He had made it. And he still was like fucking with people in the Ville. I knew one of the students that he taught who happened to be a producer. He introduced us like through distant conversation and whatnot, social media or whatever. And uh I had sent Rob Roy one of my songs. He checked it out. He was like, yo, man, look, I fuck with this. It's, it's, it's crazy, man. Like, he he was calling out lines and all of that, right? Yeah. So he came back to Jack's. I had a show. And I sent it to him just randomly one day. I was like, yo, look, I don't know if you're in the city, if you're going to be in the city, but I got a show. Um, If you could come, check it out, right? Mm. I killed the shit. Like, I murdered the show. And um, footage was telling me the whole time he was like, "Hey yo, Rob Roy over there, he was he was fucking with it, man. Go holla at him." And that nigga Chevy Woods hating on you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "Man, go holla at him." And um, I seen a dude that looked like Rob Roy, and I went over to him, like, "Yo, what's up, man?" I'm Mr. Jefferson. We've been talking and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, we've been, you know. Yeah, I was about to say, bro, Rob Roy is definitely like an actor. No, no, no. Robert Raymond Roy. Look no, I'm up. saying you got to clear it up because his name is oh, Rob yeah. Roy, but it's an but, actor more famous than him named Rob Roy. All right. So, uh, if I had to put someone I know what on, you're talking about, but the listeners may not know what you're check talking Check out about. Rob Roy Comencita. That's the artist that I'm that I'm that I'm then talking he had about. Like a, he had another famous, more famous song. It was like a um, Gucci Lap and Gucci in the Lap or something. Uh, like. Fur in my lap. Fur in my lap. Yeah. Uh, fur fur my in my lap, oh, bro. I don't know what I was talking about. Gucci. Uh, I, I think he about? does say Gucci in it, but um, um for, yeah, fur in my lap is his most famous song. It's that's his most famous song. <laughs> Common Sita to me was like one of his most like he shows all of his range in my opinion. Um. And then he had a uh, uh, Bowden Acres um, or Bowden Street. Damn, I, I, I'm drunk. Ah, I'm gonna have to look it up. But um, yeah, look at the word. Yeah, uh, but I just said to say it's a famous song. Fam- um, famous song about um, a Jacksonville, like where he came, Bowden Acres Paradise, uh, Parade rather, Bowden Acres Parade. And I fuck with that record. So uh, really creative, really interesting artist. Uh, long story short, I went over and hollered at the wrong dude. And I spent like 15 minutes trying to tell this nigga like, yo, we've been talking for months, nigga. Like, hey man, I'm Mr. Jefferson, bro. You came here to see me. 
guy you're talking about, like, please, that crazy dude. man, leave me the fuck alone. Was like, like, man, Mr. What Jefferson, the fuck? please stop what harassing me. What the fuck is he talking about? I walked back over the footage. She was like, bro. That's not that nigga. <laughs> Wait, how long did he let you talk to him? Right. Until I stopped. <laughs> I guess I guess in his head he thought I knew him. You know what I mean? Because okay. like Makes it was sense. his, you know, it was definitely in Jax and um it would make sense for <coughs> me to talk to, you know, niggas that I, I've um conversed with and such. I I mean that I know or whatever, yeah. and you don't know everybody, whatever. Yep. But yeah, man. I was like, yo, man, I hollered at that that ain't Rob, bro. He was like Bruh, egg on your face. Yeah, man. Big time. Big time. I was like, well, Don't let it happen again. Never. Never. <laughs> Never. And I mean, again, you, and that you, night you, I was inebriated. Like you, I was You eventually drunk. went over to him and talk, chopped it up with him? Nah, that nigga had left. The fuck? In the midst of me talking to his <laughs> doppelganger, You see bro. that nigga, TC, <laughs> you talk to that nigga like, oh, shit, it's a perfect time to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, like, let me, let sk- me, blue skadood, weekend too. <laughs> nigga had another nigga that looking onto the side like, oh, shit, it worked. <laughs> get out of here. Bro, that's funny. That's funny. That would be, that would be an even funnier story to that. Um, nigga was like, oh, shit, he see my cousin Raymond Roy. <laughs> 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 Nah, man. Um, I guess he was like, "Yo, I don't know why that nigga talking to the other look alike, but um, I'm finna slide like Clyde." That's crazy. Yeah, man. So I was drunk that night. I couldn't even uh, recognize him. The night I met Chevy Woods, I was drunk. I was drunk as fuck. <coughs> to the point, my brother, um, Russell, everybody was asking me like, "Yo." Are you gonna be able to perform? Nah, that's too drunk. That's crazy. And nigga, I put on one of my best shows, bro. And my brother, the whole time, he was like, "Yo, um, he was like, uh, yo, Chevy was like fucking with the show the entire time. He was talking to people when you first got on stage. But when I came on, I was so drunk, right? Mm. The first song that we played had a um." <coughs> Escape sample. Mm. And um, I think it lasted for like 35 seconds. I literally yelled, yeah, for <laughs> 35 seconds, bro. I jumped on stage and I was like, yeah. Like, little murder, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you ain't watching P Valley? No, I'm not watching P Valley, nigga. Um. All right. Um, I'll watch. I'll watch it when it like in. I guess. Is it well, over? yeah, it's over. It's over. Yeah. Go ahead. Check oh, it man, out. Bro. Why you ain't tell me? <laughs> <laughs> Darn it! <laughs> Let me catch up on P Valley. <laughs> Honestly, that show is wild as fuck. Like when I first started watching it, I was like, man, I'm not finna watch this shit. Yeah, the first time when Devin told me about it, he was like, yeah, watch this show, P Valley. I Google it. I see this nigga that like Morris Chestnut in a pink wig. Bro. Like, right, this Morris Chestnut Bruh. nigga. And he be wilding. He was like, yeah. No, he told me, yeah, that's more. He, no, actually, he said, no, that's not Morris Chestnut. <laughs> I was like, damn. Well, that would have had me watch it right there for Morris Chestnut in a pink wig. That's like, wild. Like, Don't I'll, tell anyone else that. I fought like, with Morris Chestnut, dog. When I see right, him bro. throw that ball. Come on. When I see him th- in that week. It's 2020, <laughs> bro. It's 2020, man. Hey, look. Uh, more socially aware, man. <laughs> it's 2020, bro. Oh, he's an amazing actor. I, I would have watched it because I, I would say more I chestnut. I would watch it. Right. He's a good actor. He's man. good. He's good. <laughs> I wouldn't say amazing. Yeah, man. I was putting too much on. Yeah, it. Yeah, you put salt I and pepper, too, nigga. You was trying to season that I put shit. Too much on it. Yeah, he, he, what you cooking? He cool. He cool. He cool. This guy. Um, all right. You so, see that nigga Anaconda too? No. <laughs> no. Anaconda too. I didn't know there was a. Yeah. Stop yeah. remaking classics. It wasn't a remake. It was a sequel. The, the, all, a right, all right. Stop sequeling. And they, like, they call it Anaconda. The set, two twenty twenty. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then that's a reboot. It's called Anaconda <laughs> 2, so it's a sequel. Hey, look, I'm drinking, man. I'm getting too confused. Confused. It is. Yeah. Can it I put an R on that? 
Caproos. You gotta be from Memphis, nigga. Oh, okay. I want to be from Baltimore. Wait, hold on. Let me ask you a question. So you I said say back, to, back to your granddad. So that nigga had on Saints pants. The niggas in Pensacola root for the Saints since it's so close. Um, There's I mean, no team in Alabama. So Louisiana I was a, right there. So I'm assuming they root for the Saints, right? I was a Tennessee fan. You know, that's disgusting. But um, well, that is this that is nasty. But. Are we doing it? <laughs> that is, I'm you talking about Vikings. I'm fan. talking about the. I'm a Jaguars fan, actually. All right. Here we go. Well, ain't no here we go, nigga. I'm a Jaguars <laughs> fan. What are you talking you about? You were a Viking. I was always a Jaguars fan. All right. I'm not lying. I was always a Jaguars fan. I wasn't. Fan. I wasn't. I'm, I wasn't from Jacksonville. If I'm being honest, I had two teams I had the Jaguars and the Vikings. I dropped the Vikings and said, let me root for let my me own just, team. Let But I've always rooted for the Jaguars. And that's where I've life. been since 2012. But I rooting for the root. Jaguars and the Titans is like, that's like having two dads. Bruh, hold up. Hold it's up. Like having two dads. Hold bruh. up. Hold up. Hold like you up. You can't root for them. Like they're, they're rivals. Hold up. Hey, look. That's like being a Lakers and Celtics fans. Like, you, why? Well, I moved to Jacksonville. My heart is in the city. Okay. I might as Jay-Z well accept niggers. this sorry ass team. All right, so so when you was watching the game this weekend, you was like you was rooting for like both, like at, like all right, second second quarter I'm rooting for the Jaguars, <laughs> third quarter I'm rooting for the Titans. I ain't gonna lie, 2012, bro, and honestly for many years, bro, I was secretly battling myself, bro. On one side, on my right side. Man, this is this. I'm about to throw up, man. On my left I'm side. Throw up. Back. Uh, let me back to the real question. You hit him and you knock him out. <laughs> uh, what What do Pensacola niggas root for? They root for the, the New Orleans Saints. I would say that. Uh, yeah, you got a you got a uh, large few that that that. I mean, a lot of niggas I know root for the Saints, okay. but a lot of niggas that I know are very open. Like so, it's hey, a, it's yo. A, I'll just play. <laughs> I'll just play. Oh, this is a god. Like, <laughs> hey, yo, yo, piss of color, nigga, nasty. Man. Chill out, bro. I'll play. I'll play. I'll play. Um, I mean, I would say that they open because I knew a lot of Atlanta fans. You know what I mean? And and, and when I was coming what? up, uh, uh, Falcons. When I was coming up, you got to think that, um, like, when I was living in Pensacola, you know what uh, I mean? Uh, um, you had a lot of, you had, you had. What did you say? I ain't saying nothing, man. <laughs> Put the block up. <laughs> uh, um, you had you had Dion in uh, in Atlanta. You had um, Andre Rising. <laughs> I was gonna say Emmett in in Dallas. Uh-huh. So I, like my family was Cowboys fans, and I in the in the early nineties I liked the Cowboys too. You uh, know what I mean? Respect it. Um, they need to get back to back Super Bowls and shit. And Emmitt Smith from Pensacola. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. I kind of respect him, man. There ain't no kind of nigga. I kind of respect Shut him, Shut the man. fuck up. I understand, like, I don't need so they ain't no chance. Is there Jaguar fans in Pensacola? I ain't heard of one. That wouldn't make any sense, but. I ain't yeah. heard of one. I figured it was close. Can you remember? Nah, you wasn't Why here. Why would they root? You wasn't here yet. But I remember back in the 90s, everybody in Jacksonville was like Orlando Magic fans. Right. Because they had Shaq and Penny. Right. Nah, you don't see no Magic fans. Like my that. brother is the biggest Magic fan. Mm. Evan, my older brother, biggest Magic fan. Big shout out to Big Bro. But yeah. Um, even through their worst seasons, biggest Magic fan. Biggest Magic fan. And I still, you know, all Florida teams, though I might talk shit or whatever, always love a Florida team, no matter what. You a big Dwight Howard fan? I wouldn't say that. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> you like Dwight? <laughs> when I see him, I wouldn't say that. Shout out to Dwight Howard, man. He, he hooping in the bubble, man. That nigga he is balling right now. Yeah, he is, man. But uh, he set up. He in position too. A nigga like, hey, what you mean? I gotta play a total of three and a half minutes a game. <laughs> Come on, bro. He be getting key minutes, man. He he, he key to the. I'm just saying that nigga be chilling until he got a block. Something. He do. He do. 
Nigga be like, all right, I'ma just bro. stand on the on the on the block. He said, he said, fuck it, I'll let AD AD get that nigga, man. Hey, I'm gonna let AD score. <laughs> if you think about it, bro, that nigga signed to like a vet minimum. So you like, man, fuck it, bro. For he real. Me enough, bro. I'm chilly. I'm chilly. I ain't so, mad at him. Made these TikTok videos. I'ma grow my hair out and shit. <laughs> He got, the, he, got, he got the finest woman in the WNBA, bro. He got yeah. Tia Cooper. So yeah. That nigga set, bro. He said, fuck it. I done made my money. That I'm nigga on my had, first ballot Hall of Fame. Like, bro, he living. He living. <laughs> and if he win him a ship this year, you know, he in the bag. He better win that ship, man. I mean, I don't know. I ain't know. even a Lakers fan. The Heat looking like, good, bro. I've told you I don't like the Heat, man. I hate the Heat. Um, Which is maybe blasphemous for a Florida nigga. I fucking hate the Miami Heat, dog, with a passion. Like I say, and I like the Celtics, too, honestly. I like both yeah. the Celtics and the Heat, but... Um, oh, Lord have mercy. Another coon. Rooting for that white man. Are we doing this? So the Celtic nigga is. It's a Yakub. All right, but, hey, I'm just saying they got niggas. Kimball Walker. <sighs> They got niggas, but it's canceled out when you see this mag ass motherfucker. Mascot, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm talking about Hayward. Ooh, oh, I did, well, Hayward <laughs> is their weak link, in my opinion. Nigga, that nigga leg came off the bone like some bonos ribs. Nigga, of course but, he's a weak but link. Even before, even he still could shoot. Though. Even in okay. his prime on that team, he would be the weak link, in my opinion. Uh, nah, his prior he was hooping, bro. Man, he, Utah, was, he, he was, was he was, he definitely was. But that's like a um, uh, literally when he broke his leg, he's Kevin, like a, uh, what's his name broke. that went to um Cleveland with um LeBron? Kevin Love. You said it. Like that's like a Kevin Love situation. Um, uh, Kevin Love still. Kevin Love was hooping on. Kevin Love did his thing, but he had. No, I'm to saying be, Kevin Love was hooping on the Celtics after LeBron left. He, Kevin I mean, Love is just a, yeah. Cavaliers. He was what did I say Celtics. Yeah, I'm tripping, man. <laughs> Excuse me. He was hooping on the Cavs at the water, y'all. It's just something in the some water. Molly in that bitch. <laughs> Molly, Molly water. Molly water. <laughs> that nigga got that Florida water. Florida water. Florida water. Who made Ain't that, that song? Young Thug. Ain't that your boy? Young Thug. Made that Ain't song. that your boy? I feel like a thousand niggas that made that song. Uh, a thousand niggas have. Yeah, but I'm surprised I haven't. Gonna remix it. Nah, I ain't yeah, bro. Right, me and me and Eric gonna remix that bitch together. Florida water. He Y'all heard call. it here first. Eric is a Eric is green. <laughs> green ass nigga. Why? <laughs> hey man, that's why I got one in that fight, man. Yeah, I know, and that's why I'm selling out. <laughs> my I promo, know, my promo my... gotta stay strong. <coughs> but I'm I fuck at, with Eric. Mad at Chris Hundred. Huh? Mad at Chris Hundred, bro. You mad? All right. And if Devin don't show up, I'm giving Eric the hundred. Mm. Me and uh, me and Eric, we also planning uh, another Patreon video. Mm -hmm. We got it in the works right now. So uh, Eric said he can uh, beat a D one women's basketball player in basketball. In basketball, he's gonna get whooped. That's what I'm saying. So we um, we trying. Eric to get... doesn't even look like <laughs> we <laughs> we trying to get a D one basketball. I, I already somebody already told us we could get one. He said mm. he said he just need a couple months or so, which is outrageous. A couple months. He said he just needs some time to get his cardio straight. He said he can beat a D one female. First it was Oh, w Eric need a couple months. Yeah. First I thought y'all was, was finna set him up with Joanna Man. I was like, he what? need what a couple months. What the fuck are you doing? You was like, yeah, hey, Joanna, he, we we got a D one player. <laughs> yeah, he just, just need a couple months <laughs> to get ready. I was like, what? You say you got Joanna, a Joanna man. You <laughs> gotta get that snip snip, but nah, not that Joanna man. He said he can beat a WNBA player. No, first he said WNBA. Mm. Oh, know. then he said D1. I, like, I don't know. It might be kind of hard to get WNBA player, but we're going to try. Hey, y'all get D time. Tia Cooper. You let me know. Oh, yeah, man. I got. Uh, she ain't never heard a nigga. Roo -roo. I got Lisa. Sorry. I got Lisa Les <laughs> Leslie on the phone. Like, nah, man, it's D1 now. Next it, thing you know, it's going to be, I don't know what's the lowest low, the D2. <laughs> <laughs> I think the lowest would be D3. I told that nigga he can't beat a girl in community college. Well, that might be the you know. What? I mean, what's bro, the that boy smell like grits, bro? <laughs> That's just for like, bro, what kind of pay? Nigga, <laughs> nigga, hey, I tried some grits the other day. <coughs> Why? 
That's the only way I could get the fish. I, I eat grits, but I'm saying, why did you try it? That's the only way I could get the fish plate, bro. You had to get grits? I had Where do you get, get this? Man, that shit sound good. Um, Naps. Naps whipping. Oh, Naps whipping. He did like yeah. a fish and grits? Yeah, man. And I ain't gonna lie, the shit was fire as fuck, but I can't eat grits. Had I ate another bite, I would have threw up. So what did you do? Did you just kind of like- I tried them. I tried them. Was it good? They were fire, bro. So you ate the grits. So you like grits now? No, nigga. No, not at all. all I said I tried the grits, bro. I ate some grits (laughs) this weekend. I probably had about two and a half spoonfuls. Nigga said I had two grits. (laughs) I had two grits. (laughs) I counted it. (laughs) I had two grits on my tongue. Hey, bro, that's a big step for me, man. I, I got PTSD from eating grits, man. I was making a Martin Lawrence sound of flat. <laughs> <shit. laughs> <laughs> hey, so, what you just like separated it? Um, yeah, man. Um, eventually, I had to. The grit, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, he had like the 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 fish was heavy. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> he hooked it up for your boy too. Some real. Too Some real fish, pieces, not that you know sweet shit. Not that, not that sweet. Not that bullshit you be eating, man. Hey, chill out. Chill and out. You came on here and said, I'll be eating sweet. You said, I said, I'll be eating sweet. Said, I'll be eating sweet. Said, I you up, bro. I had to ask the people. <laughs> hey, Joe, I got some sweet fish for you. Hey, y'all and know what this see, is? We seen that banana pudding. I got to ask sweet. Swing in the morning. What this is? Nah, <laughs> you was asking for him, bro. You was asking. Come on, bro. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Bro. Stop that, bro. You was asking for him. All right, man. It is your signature line. <laughs> hey, I got. I had bought a pair of them, um, Randy Jackson frames. They were fire from from um, American Idol. Uh huh. Yeah, he had a glasses line. Yeah, glasses? Yeah, bro. That's his name, right? Randy Jackson? Yeah, from Jig? Randy the Dog Jackson. I think that's his name. They got a jig selling Randy. What's the thing? <laughs> I think Randy Jackson shades. You got this thing. You got them from Jig. Hey, Jig. <laughs> shout out to Jig, bro. Big I'm, shout out. I am no Jig ain't selling Randy Jackson shades. <laughs> 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 nigga, get that nigga jig up, be like, bro. <laughs> like, bro, you got them card, you got them cardigans. Like, nah, I man, we, no, nah, man, we sold out, bro. We got them, we got them Randy we Jackson. We got them Randy Jackson. <laughs> like, a nigga from America Idol, that be saying, "Yo, dog." Yeah, that nigga. <laughs> yeah, we got that nigga. <laughs> Yo, dog, the frames ain't working for me. <laughs> I was like, damn, Jig, you down bad, bro. That's funny. That's crazy, bro. Show the Jig. Hey, they're 139 retail. <laughs> I give them to you for 79. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I give you this shit for $20. I need them out of my house. <laughs> That's, That's crazy. Funny. Bro. That's crazy. Yeah, man, I did copper pedal. It was uh, the tortoise frames, bro. They were fire. I love the tortoise shades, man. Fire, I can't even lie. They had a gold rim. Them the only one. Like, I looked through his line. I was like, damn, these bitches hard. This nigga might be on to something. Nigga, I had on some tortoise shades at, um, what was I? Uh, I was about to say, come together day. Come together day. Uh, made in America. I had on some tortoise shades. White dude came up to me. Dude, those shades are awesome. Let me buy them off of you. Like, no, Yaku, man. Get out of my face. I'm just playing. <laughs> I just told him. <laughs> to get him, I told him where to get him from. And I'm like, yeah. He's like, but I want to buy those. And I'm like, stop it, man. But yeah, that's funny. Um, the uh, the last time Yaku complimented me, I think I had on like some pattern slacks. Mm-hmm. They are suit pants, but they're like kind of. Those versatile pants to where you can wear them up, you can wear them down or whatever. So I had on some Vans with him. He stopped me in my track like he put up his hand. Hey, dude, I <laughs> love your pants. I was like, don't tell me that. What? Let's take a compliment. Don't tell me that. I like your style, my brother. I Peace. 
Now I would understand if he was like, Nah, I'm joking, but yeah, I understand yeah. if he was like, Bro, let me try those pants. All right, that would have been. <laughs> that would have been. Uh, oh, I can understand you being mad at that, uh, but he just asked a question. Nah, he he, he complimented me. I, I accepted it cordially. Those genuine those jeans. All right, chill out, chill out, chill out. In <laughs> <laughs> those slacks. Yeah. When I seen them slacks. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we like an hour and nine minutes and we ain't do We no did topics. no topics. We ain't did no voicemails. We ain't not did. Did. And, and I had a voice. week's worth of topics for your ass, too. We had the same name. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we might I'm, a, not I'm damn it. near half a bottle of Crown Shit. in. Like honestly, y'all, I think it was here when I when I started. That's, I don't know if y'all can see the uh, ignorance, bro. You see, I've been drinking this water, man. Florida water. Man, have Florida something water, in it. Florida water. Florida water. I do think that I've uh, like conquered my tolerance for alcohol. Okay, yeah. So you're alcoholic now, but I'm not saying that. I haven't quite oh. crossed over. Not quite. All I don't right, think so I have the stomach to be an alcoholic. You do you do crack now? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I wasn't getting high on my last pack. And I said, hmm, I don't know if it's the blunt. Or you know, if it's you me. know, alcoholics, when they get like real down bad mm-hmm. and like they can't get like no out no more alcohol, they start drinking mouthwash. Mm-mm. I could never I mean, like I say, I don't have a stomach for alcohol. After my tolerance, I want to go to sleep. And they start doing strange things for alcohol, so that's when you that's when you know get down bad. Yeah, nah, I ain't doing none of that there. I was talking about painting a nigga house for some for a bottle. Like we see that nigga at uh at trap out chicken. Ah, yeah, he paid that nigga. He paid that nigga. nigga painted a logo in <laughs> ten minutes. They gave that nigga a jug. Of I, I look, I worked uh twenty dollars. Twenty dollars a half hour. Yeah. Twenty dollars a half hour. <laughs> a half hour, or a half ounce. Um, that nigga sur- might have said a half a gallon. Yeah, surprise me. <laughs> pour it in my hand. A half a pint. Think you're like, we just gonna pour the liquor in your hand. We got no we cups. Gonna- <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna at least say they gave him a to go cup. Yeah, you gotta test that nigga uh, dedication. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'll take it in hand. All right, bro. I got a cup, bro. Calm down, bro. I just want to see how loyal you is, nigga. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's get to this first voicemail. This was from uh, B-Dot. The sending, the sending voicemails. Just hit us up. 424-260-ROP. You was about to say the whole I was gonna, I was going to give him the number, man. Because I mean, last time I tried to spell something out on the uh, telephone, man, it ain't work out. We, it's two six. What was it four two four two six zero R A O P two? And for those of y'all that uh, where the R A O P at seven two six seven four two four two six zero R A O P. Yes, that is a Compton number. Shout out to all my Compton niggas out there. You see that? Sh- Do they on, still? What? Never mind. What you about to say? Nothing. Don't, don't say what you about I to say, bro. I was about to say nothing. I seen a nigga. He's doing this <laughs> series of like TikTok videos. Hats that you wear? Yeah. Bruh. I got a funny story. So um, what did he what did he say? I just looked at one of them. Apparently, he got a shitload of them. Really? I only saw two of them. He did the Astros in the video I seen. Uh-huh. He did the Astros. That he nigga was the- like, this this right here? Yeah. This is a Hoover hat. <laughs> he did you do Dodgers. not wear this hat. He did the Dodgers hat. You also, I learned this when I went to LA. You cannot wear a Marlins hat. What? Either. Yeah. And I looked in the comments to see if this happened to me also. And a bunch of people was like, yeah. They're like, add the Marlins too. You also can't wear a White Sox hat. I heard about White Sox. You can't wear. I heard about the White Sox. I I mean, I've heard about a lot of the hats, but the Marlins, I never. I um. I would definitely be murdered. Now, I asked the LA homie. So, if anybody that listens to the podcast that's from LA, don't kind of come at me because I seen it from my experience. And then I asked the LA homie. I'm not about to say the LA homie name. You actually know the LA homie name, and it start with a Q. Okay. You know what I'm talking about. I do. Yeah, so I asked him, and he, he confirmed it for me. So when I was in L.A., it was 2013, I had on a red Florida Marlins head. 
had on a red photo. Hey, <laughs> hey I, I thought I was brave. <laughs> I wouldn't have wore shit with a with a red blue. It wouldn't have been, been even been in the in the color wheel. All right, so I had on a red Florida Marlins hat, and I was chilling. <laughs> <laughs> and a uh, nigga from LA came over to me. He's like, "Hey, I'm not even about to do the the Cali accent." He was like, "Hey, where you from?" I was like, "I'm from Florida." Nigga. <laughs> he was like, "Oh, all right." <laughs> he just walked away. Niggas so, know that we don't bang out here. I mean, yeah. for the most part. And I got a know, country ass that. accent. I'm clearly not from L from right. out there. Right. So uh, so I asked the I asked the LA homie. I like hit that nigga up immediately. I was like, bro, I got on a Marlins head. Should I take that bit off? He was like, Where you at? I was like, I'm over here down like between LAX. I don't really know my LA like that. I was right, between right. LAX and Staples Center. I was like right there. I was I, was, I don't know. I was, smack dab in the middle. Yeah, I was smack dab in the middle. I was <laughs> out there chilling. He was like, yeah, take that off in that area. He was like, the Florida Marlins had, I think he said, though, this was back in 2013, so excuse me if I'm wrong. I don't know really no gang shit. Mm-hmm. I think he said it was the F- 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 Florian 13s, mm. something like that, mm-hmm. and the 40 Crips where the Marlins had. Mm. I remember the forty Chris because you know forty dollars. Mm-hmm. Uh, he said those wear those wear the Marlin hats, and he's like, "Don't wear that out there." I was like, "Damn, I didn't know that." I'm like, "Nigga, who like, who knows right, how to wear right, some right. fucking Marlin's hat?" Nigga. Right, bro. So that's crazy. Next time when we went to LA, I don't know if you noticed, I had on a, <laughs> I had a. a, a I don't floor. think it was a. I did have that pink Marlins hat, but it was a pink one with mm-hmm. a Mar. It was a. It looked like a knockoff Marlins hat, right? And then I had the Florida State hat, so I was like, "All right, I'm not breaking no more Marlins right, hat." Right. I was like, "Bro, if I get banged on for wearing a Seminoles hat, then I deserve <laughs> <laughs> like that a Seminole nigga." Hey, these what niggas. Sorry, you? this year. What set you wrong? <laughs> nigga beating because of that. Let me read what Nelson said. He uh, hold on. Let me see what Nelson says. He said Marlins for the Mexicans, I think, or some shit like that. I didn't know the Yankees fitted was a big deal. Yeah, the niggas had a Yankee fitted also. I will say this: every Crip I've met owns an Yan- a Yankee fitted, like a Yankee fitted and a pair of Tims. I don't know if that's like a Crip combo, but <laughs> a Crip combo. I almost want to name the episode this <laughs> Crip combo. <laughs> But yeah, every every crip that I know personally owns a pair. Now I'm not saying you see them every time in the Yankees fitted and the Tims. Mm. But every crip I know owns a Yankees fitted and a pair of Tim combo. Uh, Tim. <laughs> yeah, nigga Nelson Tim said, "Yo, amp, you are setting yourself up to get pressed." I was like, "Bro, I didn't know. I just that on Marlins said. I would. Yeah, I, it was my it was literally my first time ever in L.A. I just thought like, oh, just try not to wear. I know I said I had a red Marlins hat. I want to say I had on the Miami Marlins hat with the M on it. Mm-hmm. I want. I think that's what I had on. Even the red, like the red, would have been like the <coughs> set off for me. I probably would have went out there with a black Marlins fitted, um, black Marlins logo, uh, the old Florida one, and 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 not thought nothing of it. But um, yeah, apparently that gang shit Marlins. different, man. That gang shit different. I was like, nigga, I almost got hit. I almost got killed over a fish. <laughs> <laughs> My nigga got that fish on him. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. That nigga was Boom. like, My nigga got that Glock on him. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, man. That really crazy. We're like, damn, bro, I'm to that nigga amp, bro. That nigga love the Marlin so much, he got killed. He got killed for him, bro. <laughs> he got killed, bro. He, most, he the most loyal one. Hey, yeah, because I definitely would have tipped my Marlins hat too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that nigga got smoked over the Marlins, bro. Uh-huh. All right, this first voicemail is from, I think B-Dot. it's from B Dot, yeah. Let's get into it. Hey, what's good, my niggas? Oh, hold up, B Dot. Nigga, you got dial up in there, nigga. What's going on with this? That nigga trying to connect. <laughs> y'all, hey, y'all can hear me? Yeah, what's going on? Make with sure your, my connection your good. Line, nigga, nigga, you got Metro PCS, nigga. Fuck. <laughs> nigga, man, that bitch sound like it's dialing in, dog. What's going on, B Dot? <laughs> I know you in New Jersey, my nigga, but come on, bro. I know they got better signals out there. Okay. Oh, uh, I got a question. When did your parents find out y'all smoke or drink? Uh, with me, um, when was it? 
I was y'all came home for Thanksgiving uh Thanksgiving break and um I went to my niggas crib. He was like, yo, we're gonna play Madden and take shot. Fucking I think a shot I think a double shot every touchdown and a and a shot uh field goal. Long story short, the score was like like fifty to like forty. So I get home and I remember it was unusually warm in North Carolina. So I had this big ass jacket on. Just came in a bit sweat. This is all about what my this is coming from my dad though. I go in the I go in the computer room, no lights on. He see he said I'm in that type of sideways. So, so I go up to I go up to my room, bro. All he heard was a big bang and shit. <laughs> he, said, I, he said I fell out. So the next day he get me up early in the morning, had me out doing shit with him because he fried turkeys every year and shit. So I'm hurting. So this nigga get me back to the crib family over there. I'm like, nah, I'm not hungry. You know, I don't feel good. I'm telling this shit to my grandma. My, my dad like, man, ain't nothing wrong with that nigga. He's drunk. <laughs> telling the whole family my business. Right. Then, another one was when he dropped me off at school uh, the next year and he finally went to my crib. You know how niggas do. They put all their they they bottles up. And um, <laughs> he looked around and he was like, yo, you really my son. You have some weed in here. Ah. I said, nah, I'm not drink. <laughs> nah, pops, I'm a hope. Nah, I'm joking. That man Alonzo said B dot calling for my submarine. <laughs> hey, that is funny, bro. <laughs> bro, B dot. That's bro. funny. Right, that nigga B dot ain't gonna say no more voice with Hey, Alonzo, bro. I am gonna commend you. You a funny nigga, bro. Hey, I need a cop song from Alonzo, bro. You seen his clothes, bro? He got some fire, bro. I'm a cop song when I get paid. Hey, man, something. put me on, man. I'm trying to live like my grandfather anyway. You hear Alonzo, me? Alonzo, what's your... Uh, put it in the comments, man. You hear that? You know what I'm saying? That was like a saint shout out. Repeat you know it. I mean? ain't like hear my fault. You hear me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You cyber, like a New you Orleans. bullied me. I'm not doing no more New Orleans accents, no boy. They got Joe harassed me. Like, don't do that no more. That's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, bro. You think I broke my confidence, bro. Yeah, bro. I was like, hey, where you from, bro? Your, your, your dialect off. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, B-Doc, that's a B-Doc. You smoke and drink, so. Yeah. Wendy, I got several things to say about beat up. We might be on this like another 30 <laughs> minutes, bro. Um, so you smoke and drink. So right. when exactly did your mom find out you smoked and when did your mom find out you drank? And which one she was more accepting to? I definitely say she was more accepting to me drinking, right? Okay. Um, when she found out that I smoked, I was probably like six, 15 or 16. Oh. Um <laughs> When it, God damn, <laughs> when it started, um, when it started, I, I I used to just tell her I was really tired. And like, she was like, yo, your teacher's been calling and it's a little um, abnormal because they say you sleeping in class a lot. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh, I had like all advanced classes. That's how Alonzo said he made a Pensacola tea. Hey, tell that boy put me on, man. Yeah, he right should have been. Never dash made dash again dot com. So, hey, yeah, we, say we less. on that. We on that. We on that. Say less, boy. Hey, what he know about the cola? So you got people out there, man. Say less. Say less, man. Shout out to the P. You know what I mean? <laughs> P cola. Oh my god. For the for the real <laughs> folks that I know. Should, I shouldn't have read that. Hey man, Pete Cola, we've been living here all our life. Pete Cola, not a song, nigga. Every stop day it, and bro. every night, Pete Cola. Name of this episode: Fuck Pensacola. Whoa, bro, I kill <laughs> you, bro. I will. Kill you. <laughs> um, but um, where was I? At? What were we talking about? You was telling my story about uh, first time you got high or something. Oh like yeah, that. yeah, well, yeah. Your mom found it out. Um, so I used to tell her that I was real tired. Um. <laughs> Not I've knowing, always not knowing you was off the coma pack at all. I was always <laughs> going through, you know. I always did a lot, rather. You know, I played sports. Um, I was working at a very early age. Like my first gig was with my grandfather. I would rake his yard. You know, I do things around the neighborhood. You know what I mean for look change at ten. So I was always like money focused or whatever. So long story short, um, she ain't paid no mind to it. One day I came home. And my eyes were so red. 
She was like, oh my God, Joe, I think you are tired. Like, you are tired. You need to go home. And I mean, I mean, go to sleep rather. And um Go to sleep, ho. <laughs> I mean, go to sleep, Joe. Mom. I was like, so, yeah, yeah, I do. It's been such a <coughs> long day. I didn't get any sleep last night. I stayed <laughs> up. And I'm trying to explain to her, right? So I go to sleep. She go through my book bag. She find a jewelry box. It had like weed Whole everywhere. Jewelry and up in that book bag is crazy. Bruh, like I mean, not not like one of them jewelry, but like one of the like mall <laughs> jewelry boxes for like a necklace and shit. Yeah. And I mean, it was filled with weed and it had a blunt rolled in it and whatnot. And um, long story short, um, she was like, "Come in the room." It was her and my um, my pops, and they was like, "What is this?" Like, yo, you know what this is? <laughs> it was like, "What are you doing with it? What is it?" In, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause we lived on um, military housing. We lived off base, but it was still military housing. And um, my mom was like, "Yo, you could jeopardize everything. You know, if you get caught with this shit, they'll probably kick him out the." Um, at the military, like all kinds of shit, you know what I mean? Like they shit were just you didn't even think about right, right at all. They were just laying out all the um consequences to my repercussions, right? And I was like, all right, cool. Uh, so then I just got wiser about it. I stopped bringing anything home. I still smoke, but um, I think after a while, like as I became, I graduated early. So after I graduated. I, w- I was treated more as a man. Um, I, I think I moved out like six months after I graduated. Um, so, and I was in college and everything like that. So my mom was a little more lenient to me uh, smoking at that point. But when I first got caught with it, yeah, it was a big deal. And the main reason why um, I got caught with the weed and I had a gun like that I was keeping in the house and shit. So yeah, it was a lot. Um, so it was it was just it was it was bad in that regard. Now when I got caught, I wouldn't even say when I got caught drinking. When they realized I was drinking, by the time they realized I was drinking, I don't even think it was a matter of like discussion. Cause I carried it, you know, not to say you couldn't tell I was drunk, you know what I mean? Yeah, or like yeah. I I had been drinking. I wasn't belligerent, you know what I mean? It wasn't yeah. like I was all over the place. I was doing crazy shit. I was spilling beans or nothing, you know what I mean? <laughs> this, nigga, this nigga eating beans. <laughs> I posted uh, my smoke, smoke in the city barbecue one time and I had double baked beans and somebody... <laughs> Retweeted it with that comment. This nigga eating beans. Bro, Man, baby. Shout out to the places that give you the double, the yeah. double size. Double size, bro. yeah. I, I gotta fuck time. with you. I'm talking like, bro, let me get double mac and cheese. They're like, no. Just get one mac and cheese. Like, man, fuck you. But you a hoe. <laughs> I almost said that, but it, it was but different. They still, they still preparing your food. <laughs> you know what I'm like, man, this nigga all big. <laughs> I was thinking that, ass, nigga. that food was good, but I'm like, come on, bro. Just give me double mac and cheese. Come on, man. I don't want your collard greens. I don't want no... Don't want no nigga has string beans, bro. Granted, oh, I like no, bro. I love no. string beans, but I don't want string beans from a restaurant. I don't want at all. I was going to say, if I'm eating string beans, my girl <coughs> cooking. Nigga, I'm eating string beans. I'm trying to lose weight, nigga. <laughs> I mean, a chicken breast and string beans, I nigga. Heard that. Everybody eat soul I food, that. string beans, right, nigga. Right, right. Not at all. Not at all. Some someone I love is cooking me green beans. Not, <laughs> not all establishment, nigga. I want a heart attack, nigga. Give me double mac and cheese, bro. So, ladies, if y'all cook green beans, you let me know. Wink, sure. wink. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, when I got when I, like I said, when I got to drinking though, um, I can't even tell you the age. Honestly, I, I, I right now off the top of my head, I can't say that I remember. I I, I don't think I was twenty one when. Like, my mom knew that I was consuming alcohol on my own into it. You know what I mean? Um, so, in that regard, 
not to say that she was accepting like oh encouraging or nothing like that you know what i mean because yeah. she still was advising me like yo you got to be smart handle your business and you know i think i thank the lord for all of my upbringing because like from a parental standpoint yo my parents did raise me to a t you know what i'm saying like they raised me right um and I, I, I buy the buy. I never had a DUI, nothing like that. You know what I mean? Never never really put myself in any real um I I would say looking back even, never put myself in a position to even be caught for any of my dirt. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um my mom was very accepting to me being drunk. And then with my pops, I think that kinda I hate to say it like this. Um Cause I don't want it to think I don't want it to come off as like we had an alcoholic relationship or nothing like that. But I think that in a sense it strengthened our relationship in the sense it it allowed for him to look at me different. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like knowing that I had been drinking and whatnot. Um, I right, so now I can have a little deeper conversations with you and whatnot. Let oh, me pull drinks. you to the side. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And um, even today, like as we sit down. Um, so matter of fact, when I was like twenty one. Me, Russell, and Tremaine had a, a spot together, and um, he used to come over, chop us up. We'd be smoking, you know what I mean, um, in the house and shit, just chilling or whatever. And um, he wouldn't, you know, he wouldn't judge us. He wouldn't say nothing. Like he ain't being from a, you know, I gotta knuckle like bear down on these fools because. You know, we handled what we needed to. Our responsibilities were taken care of, and we we had our vices. You know. Yeah, my pops would have been lame. Like, oh my god, a reefer! Is this? It's, it's burning my nose. Is this the coma pack? <laughs> All right, friend. This the runs they them young bucks been talking about. <laughs> the runs the young bucks. That's crazy, man. But as as far as me like drinking, my mom when she found out I was drinking, I was like older and the only reason she found out was like Devin came over and like <laughs> was drinking and I had of course she had to throw the bottles away right but uh I was like older then so like it she didn't matter it didn't really matter it didn't really matter um but she tried to have like a pep talk with me which was kind of weird she was like you been drinking mm -hmm. like yeah I'm a grown ass man <laughs> I'm gonna do what I do she was like you you know you know your grandfather was an alcoholic. You don't be like him. I like first of all, I don't even know my grandfather's name. That nigga died before I was even alive. Ah, I'm, I'm like I don't know anything about him. You haven't told me anything about this man. But the first information you give me is he's an alcoholic. alcoholic. That's bro, crazy. I don't know, bro. So yeah. I don't know. Like, oh, okay, he was an alcoholic, but. My bad. I ain't get the uh, <coughs> heritage dot com. Oh, nigga, what what what's the uh, that nigga? That nigga in heaven. Like, damn. The first time she brought me up was tell me tell my damn business. <laughs> 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 nigga, look at them. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you tell none of my legacies. You told me like a goddamn alcoholic. That's Fuck. funny. I served in the war. Goddamn it. <laughs> I put you through school. You tell yeah. me how you all I work five jobs. <laughs> you had free benefits till you was twenty five. You want to tell them my goddamn? <laughs> all right, they drink bourbon here and then moonshine. Goddamn, <laughs> that's funny. <clears throat> but I'm like, I'm, like I, 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 I'm an asshole to my mom. Sometimes when she tells me that, I'm like, bet. <laughs> 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 Basically, yeah, I'm, fuck I'm all that shit that you talking. I'm, I'm an asshole sometimes. I just like the heat checking sometimes. She's like, she'll Keep tell me the toes. I just be joking. She know I be joking. Like she'll be talking to me. I'm like, stop talking to me. I just be fucking with it though. She that, know, I, she know I be fucking with it. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> I ain't never fuck with my mom out like that. Like um, we used to rap the rap lyrics and shit in the car. My mom flicked me in my mouth one time. I think I was singing like a Biggie record, yeah. and um, nah, I ain't never do it. I do it. I did it like when I was older. Like yeah, sometimes, yeah, yeah. like here and there, I just be fucking with her. Yeah, like, like she, like one time she like accidentally texted me something, and uh, I texted her back. I was like, "Don't let it happen again." <laughs> she was like, "Are you serious?" I like, "No, nah, I'm messing with you." <laughs> <laughs> I think. I mean, yeah. Now, of course, um, like as we older, we joke more and whatnot. Yeah. I remember. Um, <laughs> 
I cursed one time in front of my mom. And I was like, yo, hey, excuse me cursing, but man, I'm pissed. She was like, Joe, you're a grown ass man. I don't give a damn if you cuss. I was like, all right, well, look, let me let them fly in. <laughs> yeah, nah, I was joking. <laughs> but um, yeah, like that's that's one thing that I can definitely appreciate. Um, my parents, my grandparents have always like, they taught me a lot to be very well-rounded. And I mean, I know I get on the podcast and act like a coon. But, uh, <laughs> but um, they taught me a lot to be very well-rounded and carry myself well day to day. Um, and so in that regard, um, <coughs> man, it just, it, it it made me wise at a very young age. I've been able to live, love life um, and enjoy a lot. Um, all the while knowing my responsibilities and knowing, you know, the consequences of the other things that you choose to do. You know what I mean? So, man, so um, live, love, life. Hey, man. Hey, man, if you go in a woman's house and she got that live, love, life on that wall, you fucking. You about to beat. You fucking. You, you go in her house, you see a dream catcher. Go ahead and hang your drawers. Well, well you about to beat, bro. You might as well should have came there with no drawers. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> you should have came to that bit free ball. It's bro. Mr. Nasty time. <laughs> That's funny. Like, is that a dream catcher? That, yeah. Oh shit. She a free spirit, bro. I had to tell someone that once. Um <laughs> I was like, yeah. I, it was you know, the meme had popped up or whatever. I showed them and they was like, um, what does that mean? I got a I got a dream catcher in my room. Yeah. I was like, well, you know what that means. Yeah, you know, you know what that means. That shit, look where we at. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. But at you, the end of the day, you, you there, know where that you walk know, in the house. You're like, you know like sage in here. Man, like sex Man. in here. <laughs> Is that sage? Yeah, I had to get the <laughs> demons out. I bet. <laughs> I know what time it is. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, cut that that Netflix on for twenty minutes. <laughs> that be still be on the previews, Bruh <laughs> that stay you on, they you can on say the twenty net. minutes. That Netflix be on. You ain't even picked the movie, bro. At all, it be on the title <laughs> screen. It's playing the previews <laughs> over and over. And over and <laughs> like that, they be they be like, damn, bro, we done played this trailer like thirty times. <laughs> you want to watch this <laughs> or not? Movie, hey, let's go ahead and cut this off with this. Hey, fuck you. Netflix bro. fucked the game up with that autoplay, bro. They realized the um the potential in the Netflix and chill. I don't really be looking at Netflix, dude. I think I seen it one time. Like, so don't like you like you, hover over it, then you just start playing the movie. Yep, it'll play the whole <coughs> movie, bro. Nah, I did. I remember one like, time. It'll just blow that bitch. I was like, what? the Y'all fuck? don't judge me. I don't look at Netflix. Matter of fact, Joe, every time you come in here, I be watching YouTube, nigga. Yeah, I watch YouTube yeah. only. Don't. Yeah. That's all I watch. I is be YouTube. finding all kinds of shit because this nigga already be on YouTube when I get over here. Like, what the yeah, fuck? I be is on this? you. I, all I look at is YouTube. I don't look at Netflix. Oh, you don't know about this. <laughs> nah, nigga, I know about the shows that people like that are current. Yeah, bro, I don't need cable. I just watch YouTube all day, bro. <laughs> just <laughs> learn something. <laughs> so I watched Netflix like I want to say a couple months ago, and I noticed they had like the skip intro. I was like, damn, nigga, sometimes the intro be fire, dog. I don't have hey, man. watch the intro unless it is. I my will. I'm gonna say this, bro. And that got something to see what I got to say some some way. If you listen to this podcast and you watch Moesha on Netflix and you skip the intro, you a hoe, bro. You a hoe. You a hoe, bro. You a hoe, you a hoe bro. bro. You a How hoe. you skip the Moesha hey, intro? Mo to the, E to the, Mo to the, E to the. Bro, if you Moesha. skip the Moesha intro on Netflix, you a hoe, bro. That might be the name of this episode right there, bro. That whole thing. I, like, for real. That's a strong <laughs> bro. sentiment, bro. Yo, if you skip that bitch, you a hoe, Preach. bro. Preach. I don't care, bro. If you uh, if somebody if somebody in the comments be like, hey man, I did that. I'm, like, I'm sorry. Bro. Hey bro, we gonna have to unfollow you. you let and I go. I follow every nigga that follow the podcast. <laughs> you gotta let that bit fly, bro. Let's get to this next voicemail. It's from uh, Willow. Willow. Uh, let's get into it. I don't know what he's talking about. Yo, yeah, oh, it's your boy TJ Willow. Uh, you know, straight out of Duval, man. Um, I just called it to uh, to big up that boy Eric, man. Shout out to him, man. Uh. On uh, getting a job with Complex and everything, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Keep doing big things, little dude. Keep doing, keep doing big things, man. Um, and uh, 
Secondary commentary, man, on YouTube. Check out your boy, your boy me, TJ Willard. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, man. Don't you gotta pay us a promo fee, <laughs> dog? You can't be promoting your shit on here, bro. You gotta pay us. I ain't see no, I ain't see no PayPal's. Nigga randomly I ain't see no cash plugging himself. I ain't see no zeals. I ain't seen none of that. Hey, you, you seen that nine miller? Do you got to see it? You oh, seen that oh, nine miller? Oh yeah, that nigga, that nigga Tremaine got You guns. seen that nine miller? Oh, Willie got guns. Let me play this back, bro. Let me, actually, let me you shut the fuck up. You better let it ride. I better shut the fuck hey, up. Hey, bro, I salute you, my dog. Let me shut up, bro. Put my hands on my mouth. Let me run that back. Bro. Yeah, yeah. What you say? I'm sorry. What was Boy, that? Eric, man. Shout out to him, man. Uh, on uh, man, getting a job with Complex and everything, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Keep doing big things, but dude. He doing, he doing big things, rewind. Man, uh, and uh, secondary commentary, man, on YouTube. Check out your boy, your boy me, TJ Willer, and your boy uh, Russell, aka Raw Footage. You know what I'm saying? We out there doing reactions to uh, to sports plays and different stuff like that. So, man, check us out, man. Hey, shout out to y'all too, man. Random Match Podcast, man. Y'all keep it coming, good content. I'm I'm in every week, listening in every week. I right, appreciate that, brother. Um, I'm gonna be honest, dog. I didn't know y'all had a YouTube channel. It's called Secondary Commentary. I'm on it, bro. I'm watching it as soon as we get done. This, this shit. I ain't know, bro. You should I just, me up. yeah, I just found out through Devin. I ain't gonna lie. Which I'm gonna, look, I'm gonna have to put two niggas in the torture rack, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got a YouTube show, hey, like hey, bro. <laughs> Congratulations, my <laughs> nigga. <laughs> I ain't know, bro. I'm on that bitch. As soon as we man, up, put bro. me on that shit. Let me be on Come that one, my nigga. Come on, man. I know a little something, bro. A little something. I know something about that foosball, something, man. Something. <laughs> <laughs> I know a little something about that foosball. My mama don't want me playing foosball. <laughs> but yeah, shout out to the homies, man. Y'all tap in on that, man. Shout out to Eric. Once yeah, again. definitely check that out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, secondary commentary if y'all ain't here. Yeah. Uh, with uh, Eric being on Complex now, so we're going to have a couple shows. So one show, on, it's going to be on Complex.com. Uh, Devin going to go around. Not Devin. You. Joe. Joe going to go around. Mister. Arm wrestling niggas in a bolo costume. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought of that. You going to be like, bolo. <laughs> Arm wrestling niggas. I, I, I swear I'm not gonna bring Bolo up on the podcast no <laughs> more, bro. I had to get that out. It was going like a I too long, bro. I was like, I gotta mention Bolo, bro. I ain't gonna mention him no more, bro. Well, <laughs> if you got the Patreon, you heard the blast bonus episode, you know why I keep bringing up Bolo. Bro. That's hilarious, dog. <laughs> a Bolo costume. Bro, I was not expecting that. I, I, I'm up for the I'm up for a challenge. I don't know if I can live up to Bolo. Yeah, you got to get more ratings than um, hot ones. Mm -hmm. That might be asking a lot. Hey. <coughs> Next one is from DJ oh, Larry. God. Run out of the weed. Nah, I'm going to burn my goddamn knuckle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is from DJ Larry. I don't think DJ Larry ever sent in a voicemail, so shout out to homie. Let's go ahead and get into this. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy DJ Larry, man, coming live from Memphis, Tennessee, man. Hold up, pause it. Active Patreon. That nigga definitely sounds like DJ Never Scared. <laughs> 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 to those of y'all that do watch the uh, P, P Valley. <laughs> He sound like a Tennessee nigga. He definitely sound like that nigga he definitely, definitely sound trip, like uh, DJ Never Scared. It's Dolph. <laughs> It's Larry. Hey, it's DJ Never Scared, y'all. We about to turn up. They're still up bringing in this up P Valley thing. unless they pay us, nigga. Fuck them, nigga. All right, all right, all right. What I is it, Stars? Showtime? Cinemax? I, for a long time, I did not know, but I do think it's Stars. Stars, cut us the check, bro. I'm yeah. not mentioning P Valley no more. Fuck them. I don't strict about that shit, y'all. So pay cut us. the check quick. Pay us. Let, let us see the direct deposit. Just tweet us. Shout out to DJ Larry, though. Patreon supporter. What y'all know about DJ that? DJ never scared. What y'all know about that Patreon support, nigga? Sign up. ASAP. Patreon.com slash Ario Podcast. Got that dollar tier. Got that three dollar tier. Got that five dollar tier. Got that ten dollar tier. That twenty five. That 40 ball. Shout out to Slice Bread. If you a boss nigga, 
We got you that hundred that dollar shit. tier. ASAP. ASAP. A hundred. A hundred, my nigga. And if you ain't on that uh, Patreon, nigga, you don't know me. <laughs> if you ain't on the Patreon <laughs> yet, bro, like you said, bro, you don't know me, man. You don't know. You don't know us for real, bro. Hey. You don't know what getting, we you, you don't, you just you, getting this half ass shit. Bro, we be talking about some wild shit behind that paywall. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get the real deal, hold the field, bite the nigga here. Right. What other Patreon can you see titties on? <laughs> <laughs> you can't see that on our Patreon, but hey. Nah, I ain't showing sure, my I'm <laughs> come on, man. It's calling about women, my nigga. Of course. What is wrong with you, man? But um oh, man, I, I, No troll, bro. We got the best, we got the best Patreon, bro. Yeah. I signed up to a couple of Easy niggas, peasy. Man. Lemon squeezy. There's some niggas out here talking about something, man. Sign for my Patreon. They be dropping one thing a day. I mean, one thing a week. <laughs> man. Tell them, tell, them, tell them how that, uh, who is Mr. Jefferson coming back? Big time. I already, posted, I already posted that one. That shit got some nice feedback. The one with um, Mount. Mount? Come on, man. That's, That's the mail. Up there, man. That's the mail. That's Only, the mail. Oh, so, uncut. Uncut. Raw. Raw. Ain't never been stepped on. Uncensored versions you know of saying? OnlyFans reviews. Ain't never been stepped on. With the nigga that's scared to fight Eric. <laughs> you ain't have to say that. He ran, he, like bigging it up. <laughs> he ran it from the hands, but he ain't running from the grind. But he ain't running <laughs> run from them, the titties. Uncut <laughs> versions of OnlyFans <laughs> reviews. <laughs> We got my dog, Devin Duffy. One day I'm going to tell that nigga, like, hey, man, we just going to we record some only fan review. He's like, bet. I'll be yeah. over there in 10 minutes. <laughs> Eric going to be over here with a box of gloves already on, ready. <laughs> He's like, it's only hands, nigga. They <laughs> say only fans. It's only hands, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Shout out to homie Marcel, man. He in the chat. He got that 25. He's it's been 25 on us a month. Cause he a real ass nigga, man. Hey. Real deal. Holy feel. Bite man. a nigga. He a, I don't... Shout out to Luis. He got the 25. Shout Luis. out to Tof. Tof. 25. OG. Key Tof. The homie Wendell. He got the 25. Sliced bread got the 40. Not no 40, bro. Not the 40, bro. Sliced bread got Slice the 40. Bread. And he done had it a year, bro. He gave us At 40 the other month, bro. bro. What you doing, man? We hooked that nigga up, bro. Mer he got he done got he got all the color ski masks. Big time. He got all the t-shirts, bro. Big time. All that shit, bro. Care just package. Size. Care we care packages, bro. We don't just take niggas' money, bro. We 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 give you content, talk to them. and merchandise, bro. Preach and naked bitches. <laughs> <laughs> the top, <laughs> the top of it off, bro. You get clothes and titties, nigga. You can't you can't have the sprinkles without a cherry on Who top. Who the Patreon got there, bro? Come on, man. Come on, man. Stop it, man. If you ain't on the Patreon. Get on that shit, bro. Nigga. You cheating yourself. Yeah. When you, you could be treating yourself. Come on, bro. What's that? The bag of chips a month, nigga? Come on. Five dollars, nigga? Come, Come on, on man. man. You get to help out some real niggas, Stop man. Stop eating that Mick of D's. <laughs> Mick of D's, bro. Shout out, homie DJ Larry. Let's get into his voicemail, though. Let's get into that. It's your boy DJ Larry, man. Coming live from Memphis, Tennessee, man. Active Patreon supporter, by the way. Go support the Patreon. Don't be cheap, niggas. It's a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars. Come on, man. You yeah, heard man. this I'm nigga? I'm calling in for the day need day ass beat, man. I'm going to go ahead and nominate that boy, Ampa Belly, man. <laughs> Listen, Amp, I don't understand how for all these years how you still support these Yakubs and Tony Khan and the goddamn Jacksonville Jaguars. Man. Oh, no. Tony oh, Khan is Middle Eastern, sir. He is. He is. He is, he is not a Yaku. Yeah. I respect you. You might that. hang with him. Bang with him. You might buy some Yaku sluts here and there, but hey, man. They ain't none of my business. Nah, I don't think he been welcome. You know what I'm saying? The Yaku sluts. Like, I think that, that that's a gift to him. Let's get back to Larry voice mode. <laughs> they ass beat by the Titans. You should be ashamed oh, of no, you. Larry, they didn't get it. It was 33 to 30. It went down to the wire. Come on, man. Down Let's get to back the line. to the bro? After all them goddamn Steve McNair meet the nine millimeter yeah. joke. <laughs> now his son tap dancing in victory 
on the Jaguar Drake, man. Amnesia's yeah. ass beats for being a goddamn Jag fan. Damn. And side note, I fuck with that nigga Joe because he's a Gator fan. Hey. But he needs his ass beat for being an unofficial men's warehouse suit salesman. <laughs> so, yeah, man. But shout out to the podcast. Ah. I doing what y'all do. Appreciate you. <laughs> hey man, we appreciate you, DJ Larry. Man, appreciate that a lot. Uh, hey man, just know hey I man, get the I'm faithful. I'm faithful. My team. We're gonna win that. T- we're gonna win that second game, though. We're gonna win that second game, man. We better, goddamn it. What? I say we better. We? You a Titans fan? You just I mean, said it. I'm just saying we, as in you know, one of us. <laughs> we. <laughs> Yes, something else, man. Let's get it. Let's get it to real niggas the week, and they need to ask me. <laughs> oh Lord, hey man, I, I just gotta be honest with y'all boys, man. To send those in, just uh, actually, we, actually, we were still we're talking about Patreon. We might as well do Patreon shoutouts, man. Is it that uh, time already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do that. We'll do that. And then we'll get up out of it. Actually, do real niggas of the weekend. And um, shit. Got an updated list. Uh-oh. Man, y'all don't understand. That's it. This nigga remixing. Whoa. 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 Here I go, shout out to him. And we got Steve, please do believe. I got Chris Tokyo. And I got Jamal Shakur. And I got Flicks up in this bitch. And I saw Gar Song. And we got Wendell. And we got Katie. And we got Corey shooting from the three. And we got Dustin, shout out to me. And we got trap. Shout out to them niggas that been working in the trap. And we got Millie. That nigga probably Millie Rock slap a nigga silly. And we got Jonathan. And we got Tris. Ten. And we got Me. Man, I ain't even gonna say Nico. Just come on, bro. So you guys, you gotta say Nico, man. And we got Nico. Nasty with the glizzy. <laughs> That's that nigga new nickname. Nasty Mr. Glizzy. Mr. Nasty with the glizzy. And we got Big Toe and Big UT. And we got Steven up in this thing. And we got Cam and Co- Chloe Highline. I've been drinking, but still I'm doing fine. And we got Ryan and we got Nick and we got Wayne up in this thing. I'm about to swing, then I'm gonna bang. Then I'm gonna shout out Cameron. Then I'm gonna shout out the paperwork some. Yeah, I made that rhyme. Yeah, that was like a Dr. Seuss. <laughs> then we got Darius. He might be the scariest nigga to approach. Kareem in the sting. You don't want to see him making coffee. I don't know what that had to do with anything. But then we got Stefan and we got Ran. I ain't gonna say that that nigga had Ran, but gray hoodie ID up in the same. Man, that name so lame, long, goddamn. And Javante. <laughs> See, it was so long the beat had to extend. Yeah. But, <laughs> but shout out to Gray Hoodie ID. And if I'm saying it wrong, then Gray Hoodie I die. And we got Siobhan, Tay, Swain, Bang. And we got Taylor, do your damn thing. And we got D, Q, B, Tim. Then we got Earl, $39 suit. Earl. Then we got Keith, A, not Keith, who need his ass beat. I don't know why I said that, but we got sliced bread. I don't know why, but it bust a damn head. Then we got Lewis. He might be the nigga with the cluest. Or the nigga with the bluest. Then we got Alonzo. That nigga got a joke or two, but he still green though. And we got Yaga <laughs> with the chopper. And we got Candice, so shout out to Candice. And a blank Patreon for your name to go on. Everybody? That's everybody, man. But nah. What are you pulling up on my shit, nigga? I don't know. That might have been Booty Talk 48. <laughs> what you got saved then, man? Nigga, that's the ass <laughs> on the app, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I look up, it's a white woman washing her hair, nigga. What you pulling up on my phone? The interracial version. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> In a racial edition. Leave them white women alone. They find you, nigga. On all apps. 
I ain't gonna that's lie, crazy, they man. do. Shout out. That's the devil. <laughs> man, shout out Patreon supporters, man. Patreon.com slash REO podcast, man. If you uh, haven't signed up, man, we got like 50 bonus episodes on that motherfucker. Yeah, I got a 50. 50. Tonight, I ain't slurring my words as, 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 as much as I, I normally do when I'm inebriated. That's crazy, man. But, but yeah. I am drunk. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's usually what happens when you drink uh, half a bottle of Crown Royal, nigga, by yourself. I've been drinking before I came. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's not driving tonight, so he's good. All right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Joe's not driving tonight, so he's good. Uh, All right, we're so, going to make uh, it safe. Oh yeah, Marcel, if you need a ski mask, just hit your uh hit us up, bro. Hit, hit us up. Hit your local supplies, you know what I mean? Yeah, hit us up. Um drop that ad, local, drop your address like in the man. DMs, bro. We got you. Free of charge for you, Marcel. Just hit hit that um address up in the DM. We got you. Let um, us know. You ready? Yes, sir. So we doing real niggas a week. They need to ask me. Let me get my phone for you pull up something that was crazy. Hey man, I'm trying to see what you got. <laughs> <laughs> OnlyFans.com slash Ampa Valley coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is getting too silly, bro. Let's go ahead and get into this shit. <laughs> the city of real niggas that we just email us and mail. Damn, we ain't do the questions. we do those next week, man. we do the list of questions. I we think do. we got time for one. <clears throat> Give us a good one. Got one? Give us a good one. Just one. Just one. All right, this one's from. And we'll get to some more next week. All right, this one's we do this one from um, Psychosis. Shout out Psychosis, another Patreon supporter. Big shout out Psychosis. He said, um, "I've been thinking for a bit now, and my first question, I think he said, is did is did white people kind of ruin the meaning behind Black Lives Matter and how they tried to make it trendy, trying to make the change meaning behind it, change the meaning behind it." My second question is, if you could remake. The Kings of Comedy with four comedians living or dead, who would you choose? I at least keep Bernie Mac and add Dave Chappelle. I fuck with that. Um, first question, Black Lives Matter. They're definitely uh diluting it. And I'm not even I don't even know if you can necessarily just say white people. I feel like most people try and like even I've seen some black people try to like take advantage of the whole Black Lives Matter situation. If I can be honest, um, I do feel like I didn't mean to say situation on the end of Black Lives Matter. Also, my fault. I feel like um, the message hasn't been clear enough. You know yeah. what I mean with the approach, and I've I've, I've said that for a while now. Um, that's been my only stance against the Black Lives Matter, to where it's open to interpretation. Realistically, like you 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 really can't say that. They 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 muddled the 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 movement. You know what I mean? Because how was the movement being led other than by people holding signs and posting, you know, on social media? And I'm not saying it to say that there wasn't an effort behind the scenes, but what I'm saying is from the stance of the question, right? Yeah. There wasn't like a large push to say this is the narrative we're looking to follow this is um our stance on many approaches and if if there was and i'm i'm speaking incorrect in my opinion that wasn't something that was pushed to that same level by us you get what I'm saying? Because yeah. I never saw that. I never saw the clear message behind what the Black Lives Matter movement really stood for. How are how are we helping these people that how is how is this Black Lives Matter movement to where there are t-shirts being made, there, you know what I mean, appearances being done, songs being sang in the name of. Yeah, it's definitely during, during uh, Ferguson, a couple of people I ain't gonna say names and shit, but a couple yeah. went out there and they uh, profited. They eating, they still eating. 
Profited Sean King big definitely. time. Sean King. Big time. You seen that shit Sean King did when um He was sending out emails and saying like, yo, yeah, when, when uh, Chadwick died. This is the thing that nah, I ain't see when Chadwick died. What he nah I, I saw before Chadwick died. Someone um I don't wanna say a name again because I've been drinking and this is more serious matter, but um I don't want to say a name and speak incorrectly, but someone had passed and he was speaking on behalf of them yeah, it using an email was, to it say. It was the guy that got wrongfully executed for something he didn't do. Okay. And he was saying like, hey, in order for me to continue to spread this message, I need for you to send me this. Yeah. And that was that to me was a nasty message. The Chadwick one was, it was like, oh, um, Yes, Chadwick died. He was he meant to so much to us. Uh, matter of fact, buy my book. It was some shit like that. Wow. Pretty much. All right, bro. This nigga. Got yeah, that's disgusting. That's <coughs> disgusting. Cause to me, I mean, like, yo, some of the I, I one thing that hindsight is twenty twenty, right? Yeah. So I've I've I, I feel like we've all reflected on here that some of our jokes have been dated. You know what I mean? That things have, uh, you know, we've talked in ways that, or even that we're looking to constantly refine ourselves, whatever, right? Sean King doesn't seem like one of those people to me, you know, personally. He doesn't seem like he learns from these instances to where it's like, hey, this is not, this is a faux pas. This is not socially acceptable. Yet you continue to use victim victims yeah to monetize your message whatever message that is because it does seem to sway it does seem to sway yeah and then also like from what psychosis uh, was saying about white people bringing up well some yeah white people or well, this particular person i got into it they weren't um white they were i want to believe they were hispanic and I got into it. Well, I wouldn't even say I really got into it. I just kind of like asked her, like, what was the point of her posting it? She had posted a tweet saying, I don't like how my uh, timeline doesn't care about black lives anymore or whatever. It was trendy. And I was like, that's your fault. Your timeline don't care about black lives anymore. No that's who you following. Every day. I don't know about your timeline, Joe, but my timeline, I follow. It's littered. I follow, yeah, li and, Every, and I ain't even gonna say I'm, I follow majority black people. I follow all kind of people. And only, re I hate to say littered, you know what I mean, because that's a reference to trash. But I say that just to say that's how much you know information I have available to me. Yeah. I could walk outside and pick up anything. You know, I could open my phone and pick yeah. up anything. Yeah, black now, lives. I, now I see my my timeline is ignorant shit. Mm -hmm. And Definitely got good, my mix good, of that. Yeah, I got both. I got ignorant shit and shit that's good for you. I got shit that's extremely inspirational, shit that's uplifting, shit that's uh, mind changing. You know what I mean? Like that that that's challenging conceptually. I have um, I follow a lot of artists. You know that get you to look at serious things in a different way. Yeah. Um, you know, so I don't follow LLC ass niggas that tell me. Shit like I should oh if you ain't how to a spend new, my fucking money. If you ain't learn a new hustle during the quarantine, you it's hopeless for you. Now I do say this. You should always be looking oh open to finding new ways to to make money, diversify yeah, your always bonds. Challenge yourself. Yes, indeed. You know what I mean? But for a nigga to put those kind that that kind of pressure on you, <laughs> oh, fuck that nigga. Straight up. Um Yeah, you remember that stimulus check y'all got five months ago? Go buy property. What did with you that? do with it? Yeah, she's like, like nigga. Fuck you. nigga um, I was Eighteen years ago, nigga. Just, money just gone. like I say, be open. <coughs> you know, there are a lot of things that people are constantly learning every day through Instagram, through TikTok, even. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. YouTube, all of that shit. You can, you can do anything today. Actually, uh, don't ask me how long I plan to stick up with it or why I got into it. But I started checking out like the Chinese dictionary and I found out a lot of like basic facts, you know what I mean, that'll help to for me to at least be intrigued enough to find out a little bit about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh there are no there is no set alphabet, you know, there are over fifty six thousand, you know, distinguishing characteristics about it, you know, 
in in one of the dictionaries or one of the the variations of it per se but <clears throat> i just say it to say man like find different things that inspire you find different things that can continue to stimulate your mind that um Every day you can intrigue yourself with, uh, find different people that challenge you to think differently, that um, encourage you to do the different things that, you know, you, you, you set your mind out to do. As we get older, we always, I feel like, you know, you might find different inspirations. Um, my, my passion is in music, right? But... As I get older, I find different hobbies for sure. Yeah, different things that I like to do to pass my time, um, from screen printing to, you know, um, what, what's it, what's it, something? I don't know. I do all kinds of shit. I mean, and 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 a lot of it is just so. I would say odd in 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 conversation. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, you always hit me up with a new a new idea and all the time. But at the end of the day, you know, it's something that keeps my mind stimulated. You know what I mean? It keeps, you know. So I just say every day, you know, if you can, find something new. Not yeah. not to say to to be passionate about or nothing like that. But you know what I mean? Like learn something new. Every day you yeah. can learn. There's a, there's a reason for every issue. Yeah, there's a way. And if there's an issue where you just, you on social media and you just seeing like nothing but bullshit. That's your fault. That's your fault. Yeah. That's your fault. You're just not following the right people. And if you see people just posting bullshit or you see people just nonchalant rate for racist people, I don't know what she was talking about when she said people people don't care about Black Lives Matter. I don't know if she got some rednecks on her timeline. Right, right, I don't know what right. the fuck she was talking about. But, but if you got people that just seem not to care about anything, don't follow them. And if you do, that's your fault. Here's the another thing that I think is very important that 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 doesn't get talked about at all. And I apologize if it if it drags on any, but oh, you could. Um, you have to be real with yourself in the distinguishing factors between friends, associates. You know what I mean, like. Uh, who you're talking to, dating, all of that stuff. And I only say that to say, you know, those things shape so much for you long term um, and your encounters and, 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 and where you go, how you go and your influences, what you allow yourself to hear, what you allow yourself to intake, what you, you know, if all of it's positive, you have, a, a you know, a unlimited cap. If a lot of it's negative, you might be stunted in your growth, you know? Yeah. So just be mindful of those things. Um, try and easily identify it for yourself so that on social media, you don't feel like, like for me personally, I don't follow my family. <laughs> and I, 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 it's not to be rude. I don't even know if my family on Twitter. If I <laughs> Well, I know my mom's on Instagram, but on Facebook, um, I I only I only follow her on Facebook because I don't post on Facebook, and and even if I did, I, it wouldn't be anything crazy on Facebook. You know what I mean? On Twitter, I definitely don't follow anyone in my family. I don't want them to see anything that is a joke. Nigga, I don't, I don't want nobody from like anything, like <laughs> not even say anything. From my family, anything from to any to anyone that I you know wholeheartedly care about in that regard to what like I care about their feelings or I feel like they might be sensitive to some of the jokes that I make in that regard, you know, yeah. because for one, it is just a joke, and if you're not comfortable with it, that's something like perception is is everything. Yeah. You have to kind of, you know, conquer those things. That yourself, tweet you know? about me? No, motherfucker. Right. Like, um, so, I mean, I just said to say, um, yeah, I don't, I don't really follow. I'm like, I'm not big on following on social media and shit just because, you know, some things can be misconstrued and I don't want to spend my time explaining a joke. Yeah. What you meant by this? Like, get the fuck out of here, nigga. Why are you posting? I, now I do remember like early on, um, just kind of going back to a beta. Uh, early on, um, I had uh, post something on my Facebook about smoking, right? 
Mm-hmm. And my mom was like, yo, like, what, what's this? Da, 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 right? And I was like, yeah, ma, I'm just I'm like smoking this. reefer, mom. What do you think? This is, you know, some like Leave I'm just alone. in the moment or whatever, right? I told her whatever. <coughs> and she was like, Joseph, yo. what do you mean Kush is my cologne? At this point, I understand that you do it, but you posting about it don't make no sense. You know what I mean? And like since then, like I, you don't really see me posting. Now I, I post, you know, pictures to where like they're they're professionally shy and I am smoking or whatever, but it's not like on no this is a selfie of me smoking weed or whatever, because it's not to advocate for it or nothing like that. I smoke weed. I ain't telling nobody else to, you know. Um, Fuck it, smoke weed. Right. And I mean, do your thing. I'm just saying, I don't put my vice on nobody, you know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, I forgot where I was going. That drink hit me. Like yeah, a drink. Right, so let me ask, let's, let's run through this real quick. Uh-huh. So, uh, Psychosis also asked, we had to make the Kings of Comedy, our own Kings of Comedy, mm-hmm. which is four comedians, right. dead or alive, who's go- who's yours? I already know. I'm going to keep Bernie Mac. Cause Bernie Mac, uh, Bernie Mac yeah, one of my I'm favorites. Bernie Mac. Go Chris I would Rock. go De- Dave Chappelle. I would definitely Dave put, Chappelle. I would definitely put, like I want to put. I'm about to say Larry the Cable guy. Nah, fuck no. Come on, man. <laughs> I want to put Chris Rock, but see, here's where I get a little like. All right, so if I if I had to, I think my four would be Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac. For me, just funniest people all time, right? Yeah. Bernie Mac, um, Dave Chappelle, and funny. not even to say funniest people all time but I think I would love to see them go because this would be a versatile set even uh Patrice O'Neal I fuck with that and I would go um you didn't pick Curtis Rock you said it was Bernie Mac Dave Chappelle Patrice O'Neal yeah I fuck that for me it would be between Chris Rock and Eddie Murphy as as far as my fourth and I say Eddie Murphy because for one his his two stand-up comedies were Fucking hilarious. His longevity on movies, great, right? I fuck with that. Um, so I do think that at any time and every time I've seen Eddie Murphy, he's been funny. I think that he would be a great, great addition. But that goes the same for Chris Rock. I've loved every movie I've ever seen Chris Rock in. Hold on, you loved every movie you've seen Eddie Murphy in? You like Pluto Nash, nigga? Nah, I ain't like Pluto Nash. That shit was, but I, was I didn't. That one movie he I didn't had, hate a thousand it. Words I didn't hate it. Like a thousand words was actually good. That's the name of it. Yeah. A thousand words, something like that. Uh, that was actually remember. a good movie. Uh, it was something about like he had like a thousand words left. I watch a lot of shit. Now, I mean, I judge, I judge these shits based on things like simple things, man. It could be a lot worse, you know. I, I judge them based on movies that I've seen, kind of in the same realm, you know. There are a lot like Eddie Murphy really hasn't picked many bad movies. Come on, so let me look at Eddie Murphy. Movies. Yeah, please do. <laughs> the uh the Pluto Nash one was eh, yes. Eh, but <laughs> look at my dog movies, bro. I think it was like what a robot in the movie or some shit. Like he was supposed to be something. Crazy as fuck. Golden Child was fire. Both fingers was fire. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it was called, yeah, it was like a thousand words. Yeah, a thousand words was good, man. Don't sleep on that one. He was great in Mulan. Me Dave. Me Dave, which one was it? That one. I don't even know what that's about. I don't know if I seen that one. Oh, Tower Heist was fire. Yeah. Mr. Church. Mr. Church was good. <laughs> you just saying that because he got on a suit and a top of it. Man, shut that's up. A, that's a fit you done wore before. Shut up, bro. It is. <laughs> it is. That's but I a fit you done wore, bro. <laughs> These niggas done cropped it in into a mansion. I'm praying that meme don't go viral. Who made this? I'm going to make a banging ass single one day and uh, niggas going to post me in that suit. Nigga, who made this, bro? Beverly Hill Cop forward. Nigga made that shit on Photoshop real quick, bro. Bro, when did when when is the release date? Who made that? That shit it, gonna say twenty twenty. Got no release date over there. Twenty twenty two. That shit just say baby. <laughs> that old ass nigga ain't playing a cop. But yeah, look. at I mean, like overall, <coughs> he got a lot of good movies. I'm 
And even his bad sorry, movies, man. honestly, Bro, ain't I forgot even... about Holy Man. I where that nigga play like a monk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That one I ain't. Metro gonna... was fire. Showtime was good. All right, they putting Eddie Murphy movies that didn't co- ever happen. Like they been say triplets. Yeah, I don't know what that one. You was. remember the movie where like Danny DeVito and like Arnold Schwarzenegger was like twins? Twins, yeah. They got Eddie Murphy and he's a triplet. Man, stop this it. movie don't exist. Stop bro. it, bro. That was a straight dub. Somebody, somebody on Facebook put this shit, dude. Straight to SSD. Niggas on, niggas on Facebook. <laughs> SSD. <laughs> Nigga, that nigga, they put that shit on a hard drive. I'm like, take this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this shit, that shit went straight to Quan Flicks, bro. That bit ain't never come out, bro. But uh, yeah, I think I think that would be my like that. Would, <coughs> the last two would be my challenge, and I mean, um, a lot of them say he loved Norbit. Do you love Norbit? No. I seen Norbit one time in my life. I seen it in the theaters. I ain't never watched that shit ever again in my life. <laughs> I never will watch Norbit. The first time if you I see watched me watching it, Norbit, I'm trying to get some coochie or something. The the first time I watched <laughs> it, Norbit was for that reason. Like, I mean, uh, that's how I felt leaving it. Like, yo, Norbit is ass, right? <laughs> that's but, funny. You walk like, hey man, Norbit ass. But, but it's actually it actually got some really funny moments. Like, hey, have you ever went to a movie theater and somebody told you like? Like one of the people in the movie theater trying to tell you not to watch that bit. Nah, I could I I can't I say this. Now nah, we was going inside. It's not. They wasn't necessarily telling us not to watch. You talking about like the staff, right? Yeah, the staff. Like okay. nigga getting your tickets. I got I got he a story about. He didn't necessarily tell us not to watch it, but we went to go see Notorious. And my dad brought my brother and sister, and they were little kids. <laughs> the nigga that was getting the tickets, he was like, hey, man, I want to take them kids in there. So we walk in. We tried to get to the movie because it was like a bunch of niggas trying to get in. Niggas trying to, it was the first day Notorious came out. Right, bro. right, right. Niggas trying to see that bit, bro. So we walk in, and my brother and sister, they little as fuck. And um, <laughs> the nigga that get the ticket, like, hey, you should have taken them. You, they take, take them kids in there. <laughs> and my mom, he's like, I told you we should have took them. <laughs> he just started going in on my mom. I'm like, damn. <laughs> That's funny. Um, nah, I went to a movie and with my pop. You know, Lil' Kim was getting fucked yeah, within like the, the first the, five minutes. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, they should be. It is that. We went to, a, my pops was really big on to like bang for the buck, right? So we would go to a movie and my mom was never comfortable with it. So she would leave, honestly. And uh, my pops would sneak us into like two movies every time. Every time we went to the movies, like we go and watch two movies. They she like hated the movies or some shit? Nah, my mom wasn't never a big, like she worked a lot. Like my mom, a hustler to a T, you know what I'm saying? Um, so... She go to a movie and go to sleep. Like, yo, yeah, that's crazy. It's, it's like it's just it's something playing on TV. Essentially, like that's kind of how she look at it. You know what I mean? But um, I never went to sleep in a movie theater. I do not know understand how niggas go to sleep in movie theaters. Well, in it's, her case, it's too fucking loud. Yeah, no, I'm that, just saying. It yeah, general. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> that I was gonna say in her case, you know, at least she had us there. You know what I mean to protect that. Cause I was some ass over my mama trust and believe. But um. <laughs> You know, oh, uh, what my ass, what I do? Hey, man, just in case, man. What I do, nigga? You might be coughing. You know what I mean? Hey, it's COVID, nigga. Yeah. yeah. Hey, stop, hey, stop, stop smacking on that popcorn that loud. My mama sleep in a movie mama, theater. My mama sleep next to you, nigga. Hey, nigga, what? You better chew that popcorn slowly, bitch. Hey, nigga, is that gum? Why you smacking it? Yeah. <laughs> but, um, nah, um, damn. So well, let me get my kings of comedy. We do real niggas because right. that crown beating your ass. Bro. It, hey, it's, it's beating it's, your ass. It took a toll at this point. I don't want this, this episode to be too long, bro. I'm about to I'm about to tap it again. Them t- them three hour podcast episodes. Them over, man. If you want more shit, hop sign on that up Patreon. for the Patreon. I sign up for that Patreon, but for the free Nigga. for the free them three hour episodes is done. Done, data. It's done. <laughs> but um. Get my my four real quick for the Kings of Comedy. I'm gonna go Bernie, mm-hmm. Chappelle, mm-hmm. Chris Rock, mm-hmm. and then for the four, I either go with you, not you as a comedian. I'm gonna go with your idea. I mean, I'm Patrice. pretty funny. Shut the shut up. <laughs> I'm going with Patrice, 
I'm gonna go Paul Mooney. <laughs> Trust, I ain't funny, but yeah. Uh, ooh, Paul Mooney Patrice is a good. That's a good addition. That's a good addition. Um, that was, <coughs> I mean, right now at this point, I think there's a good eight that you could choose from. You know what I mean? To where, <laughs> like, all right. Um, Martin Lawrence. DL, I, I fuck with Martin Lawrence. Bro, personally. Do not say DL Hughley. Bro. No, no, no. I was gonna say that nigga should be taken out of the. Uh, King that of was Con- the running joke when Kings of Comedy right, came right, out. Right, like right, he was the right, worst one. Right. His shit was actually whack, bro. He was just like roasting niggas in the crowd. His shit wasn't even funny at all. He, he, he like he got beat with he some. He wasn't peroxide. even funny. He wasn't even funny in the um in the behind the scenes. Nigga, he wasn't even funny on the Hughley show. Like, nigga. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, hey, man. I did fuck with the Hughley show though. Nah, I don't know. I fought with Overton on the Hughley show. Yeah, Overton was fire. Overton was fire. Like his character. His Sucks. Character I don't fire. know his name, but yeah, Overton was fire, bro. Go he played him. in um what you call it too. Um, I don't know what other show that nigga played in. Living single was it? Yeah, he was Overton and Living Single, nigga. You're drunk as nah, fuck. Nah, I'm saying, what was his name in 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 Live Overton and Living of Single? Them? No, his both. name wasn't Overton and Hughley. Oh, I'm calling him Overton. <laughs> Overton and Living Single. All right, hey, oh yeah, I'm drunk, god, man. Bro. Don't confuse me. Oh my god, do bro. not, do not confuse me. <laughs> Shout out Psychosis for that question. Shout out Frank. Also, we're gonna get into your question next week, but let's get into real niggas of the week. <laughs> Sending real niggas of the week. Hit us up. Mail at ariopodcast.com. It's mail, mail. at ariopodcast.com. He's at too get. fast. <laughs> yeah, nah, you're, you're a drunk ass brain that still loading say, like a nigga, PlayStation, nigga. That nigga say, hey, it ain't that we, we just talking fast. You just listening slow. Maybe I should slow down, but fuck I it. Mario no Podcast. Hit us up on the Twitter page. Let's get into this real nigga of the week, man. My real nigga of the week is that nigga Lil Uzi. I don't know if you've seen this, Joseph. Oh yeah, I did. That nigga big time. That nigga Lil Uzi. I fuck with Lil, I fuck with Lil Uzi more and more as I, you know what I mean? Like, I ain't even I gonna it right lie. Here, it, right. it seemed like uh as I get older, you know? Yeah. Um when he first came out, I did like I didn't understand the whole way behind him. You didn't understand. Yo, what? What? Okay. Yeah. Nigga, Uzi hard. I love Uzi. And the love, shoulder up. Like, I loved Uzi since the beginning, bro. Yeah, yeah. Hard, bro. So, I mean, like, I can be honest to say that. I came around to Uzi. Uzi that nigga, bro. I yeah, see why they call yeah. him the king of Philly. He got the best album this year, bro. Come on, love bro. is Rage 2. Best album this year, bro. Come on, bro. No album better. So, anyway, Double XL, they posted it. It said, Lil Uzi verse stepped into a random rapper's music video the other day. Just showing, showing love. love. Like always. So, uh, let me just play it. Little Uzi, nigga, random nigga, mm-hmm. random at a gas nigga, station. At a gas station, he's just filming a video. Niggas love filming videos at gas stations. He just so happened to be filming. He just so happy to be filming filming a video. Lil Uzi, little said, Uzi getting man, some now Let me let me let me show y'all my drip. And nigga, little Uzi was in <laughs> store. It's like, what these niggas doing? <laughs> you know he smacked <laughs> his lips. <laughs> he probably did it like three times. He was like. You what? think you think they'll let me in that video? It's like, what these little niggas doing? I'm about to go over there. I'm the king of Philly. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm the OG. Let me see what they want. <laughs> I'm a five foot Jalen Ramsey. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's pretty fire. All right. So the song actually came out. Let me play this. Le- please, because I need to hear it. That line it's wasn't a- hard. It's actually it was pretty good. I the closet, metal with hangs from the wall like a locker. In okay. Lips, I stayed with a chopper. She was drawing, I fucked and blocked her. Bitch, I'm from Philly, I move like a mobster. Family and Trini, I fuck with the rosters. I pull up me and Jahi a monster. Jah- Hit up two when I need me a line up. Two. Taking over your block, and I conquer. Back in the mail, get a whiff of the ganja. I'm with my niggas, this shit like Wakanda. I need a foreign, I pull up a Elantra. Ask some money, she think I'm a sponsor. Right. Hit a Ross arm right to the doctor. That's it. Song hard. I fought with the song. It's pretty good. Oh damn, boy! I was about to switch it up on the job. You Lil, know what I mean? He just changed. He changed this man's life by just standing. Just in the stepping video. in the video. He bro. just was in the video because I watched the video. The right. video's two minutes. Right. Lil and just Uzi, Z- Lil Uzi is probably only in like three frames. Lil Uzi just is in Z- more frames in this little trailer right here uh-huh. than he is in the actual video. Come on, man. Just Z. 
And he, he, he man, come on, man. Nigga and I looked at the view, view count. When I looked at it yesterday, it was nigga at like did. 700K. <laughs> By just a little Uzi. So just, hold on. Hey, just shout just out, Uzi shout out, little Uzi. You the real nigga of the week. But shout out, just Zeke. Do your thing, bro. Keep it moving. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I was hating when I said that boy wasn't uh all that. Cause when I heard the beat drop on that thing, boy, I yeah, I didn't want to judge it because I couldn't hear, really hear the beat. Aye. They were probably just playing it. You've done music videos. Yeah, they, yeah, sometimes yeah, niggas yeah. just play that bit off the phone. Uh, yeah, man, trust. Crazy. I definitely understand. Not like I say, I was just, I was just doing this <coughs> shit for the podcast, bro. <laughs> okay, nigga, I was hating. I was hey, hating for the audio. Hey, bro. bro, you know what I'm saying? I it's ain't funny. Gonna lie to you. It's funny because then they got this stack in this video. I bet that nigga a little Uzi like, nigga, put this little ass stack away. Man, let, me, let me give you a stack, bro. <laughs> I put my niece be having this stack. <laughs> <laughs> let me give you my little niece play stack real quick, bro. That is not real guap. <laughs> <laughs> like, let me see what that say. That say motion picture on that it. nigga. Probably was looking out the window. He was like, "Oh, this is cute. Let me go be in the video." Yeah. <laughs> he got some money. <laughs> this is adorable. Let me go be he in the video. He got Okay. <laughs> 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 Little money is adorable, bro. Shout out to uh, Little Uzi. All right. Shout out also. Shout out to our homie Cali Cam. Big, big shout out to Cali Cam, man. I gotta holla at you, my dog. Man, we might we have to do some. Um, we might have to cop some of this, man. So he got his own juice company. Yeah, it's yeah. Deep rooted. Look that up. Deep rooted. Uh, he got his own vending machine now. So uh, yeah, shout out to him for copping a vending machine. He doing Come big on, things man. out here, man. Big things. Deep you rooted. Say it Go like cop that. that. Big things. Yeah. No, man, don't don't. Say like that, <laughs> Come on, man! Don't make me do stuff I don't do, though. I don't right. do stuff like that. Hey, right. I did put you on the spot, bro. I thought you've been watching some Drake videos or something. Come on, I'm not man's them. <laughs> I'm not man's them, man's them. That's funny, <laughs> bro. <laughs> not man. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that. Bro. You ain't been watching Top Boy, I see. <laughs> no, man, I'm not watching nothing called Top Boy. It's a crazy name. When I seen him I throw that ball, nothing with that name like that, bro. <laughs> I was just playing. I, I heard it was good. I'm gonna I watch do it feel one. the need to party. Yeah, <laughs> I'm joking, bro. I'm gonna watch it one day. I heard it was good. It is the first season was fire. I heard like that. Just watched like the Netflix version of it. Yeah, I heard only watched that because apparently the the OG version wasn't as good as something like that. That's to, what I heard. I don't know. It to me, the OG version was real good. <laughs> But, but uh, I'm gonna watch the whole thing. Yeah, watch both versions, in my opinion. But you watch Fargo? Nah, I never. I never checked it out, but I've heard really good, really, really good, good reviews. Chris Rock is doing this season of Fargo. So hold up, different directors do the. Uh, I don't know what you call it. It's not an anthology because anthology is like tales from the crypt. I don't know what you call it when it's like a different story each season. Got you, because uh, True Detective does that. Okay. Yeah. I don't know the exact name of it. Um, but yeah, each season is a different story. Gotcha. Now I see. All right. So this is the fourth season. The third season didn't connect with the first two, but the first two seasons connected with each other. If you're gonna watch Fargo, watch season two, mm -hmm. then watch season one, then mm -hmm. watch season three, then three season four. Mm -hmm. So season two was like the '90s. Gotcha. Season one. No, season one was the 90s because it's based off the movie Fargo. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Fargo. I, it's based off the movie Fargo. Mm -hmm. So it's based like off the 90s. Season two is a prequel to season one. Got you. So, but it makes more sense when you watch season two first because it like builds up into see it builds up from like season two is like the 70s. Mm. And they and the, the, the woman, what was that? I don't know. Oh, that was that speaker. That shit scared the fuck out of me. I, I thought the fans was watching, bro. That bitch said, boop, boop. You got a robot in here? <laughs> <laughs> I got to fight my way out. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're a drunk ass player. No, it's good. Oh, a lot me. of electronics around here. Yeah. <laughs> Something transform on my <laughs> But yeah, the, the girl, well, she's a grown woman in season. She's a woman cop. Mm -hmm. She's in season one, mm -hmm. but season two is about her as a little girl with her father. And how she became a like how she like watched her dad do this case and that kind of like inspired her to be a cop and whatnot. Yeah, it's really good. Gotcha. That's, uh, I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna it's check real it out. good, bro. 
You know, I'll check it out. Shit. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check. Um, Fargo season four. I asked you. I was hoping you watch it because I really want to do a Fargo podcast. But okay, I'm I don't with think that. I don't know if anybody that I trust to do a podcast with that watch Fargo. All right, I'll check it out. Yeah, I'm here for it. Um, so well, shout out Cali Cam though. Big shout out Cali Cam. Um, I gotta highlight you, Cali. Um, that that one you doing might be somebody else's real nigga that we go so. I can believe that this is actually a, a very, very wild story. Um, and because I, I, I get the opportunity to say it before you, my nigga, I uh, apologize if let we me, share the same. Let me just add it together since right. um, um, King Petty 99. That's his nigga of the week. King Petty, man. We, we like minds, uh, great minds think alike. I start to say light minds think alike. But now, that that might have worked. I, it would have been a, it drunk, worked. a drunken statement. <laughs> but, uh, uh, DJ yeah, Who Kid that, that crown spanking Joe right now, bro. Nah, I would say yeah. that my popping lock is still impeccable. Uh, my eyesight is probably what's it like? I don't even know the 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 how I could ratio that shit. It'd probably be like a eighteen twenty. I'm just a hair off, bro. <laughs> 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 I don't know if that's how you do it. Sorry. I don't know what you was about to play, bro, but don't play it. <laughs> I'm on IG right now. Till I leave. And I forgot the Bluetooth is connected to the soundboard, my phone. Niggas See, that more technology. That booty how music. many niggas do you know that got a soundboard and niggas' phones is, like, connected to it? I'm on my. Random Axel Podcast, man. That's, that that's who you know that got that. Roo, roo. Big dog bar. You know what I mean? Big you dog, big, dog, big dog software over here, nigga. You know what uh. I mean? So big shout out to DJ Who Kid. This story is crazy. It's actually unbelievable, but we're gonna get into it now. Remember my Stevie Wonder shit or should I not? Yo, hey. <laughs> He's talking to Jada <laughs> Kiss on, on air. <laughs> Nah, it's, yeah, not, it's, not, it's actually a foul, <laughs> man. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, we should have bitch. Nah, 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 let me get out of here. <laughs> You hit something with Steve? Well, he well, I, I had my chick, but the chick I was with, she just happened to be deaf. So I was like, yo. I told Stevie, yo, I got my my, my chick. Like, you know, well, hold on, hold on. Her, her Stevie cousin. Wonder? Stevie Wonder. Really? Rainbow in the sky. DJ Who Kid. Songs in like the key of a mind. I mean, I, I'm sorry? Nothing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I follow. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> so and then after that, and then we went back to the hotel, and that was it. And then Stevie's over there, and I'm on my shit, but he came in my shit, so I, I didn't let him go to his shit. How did that work out? He hit something with Stevie. Yeah. I gotta go, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What? Yo, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get out. Stevie wanted to pound the cheeks. That's just crazy. Alongside yeah. Hookie. I, I, I had to get a nigga to I had to get a nigga to condom. Yo, it's just crazy, Yo, man. Hey. Stevie hey. Wonder does got a lot of kids. Like he just he's still having kids. He wild kids. with it. He ain't learned from uh Ray Charles. He ain't seen none of them niggas. He ain't learned from Ray Charles. He was like, hey bro, you gotta learn to use your own kind of. Come on, bro. Somebody, you heard DJ somebody, Who Kid. He somebody. was like, man, I had to give it to him. Yeah, he been trusting him with it. <laughs> who Kid got some crazy stories. You ever heard the story where he talked about Michael Jackson? Nah. Oh, I heard about it. I didn't hear the story. Yeah, I'm not about to tell the whole thing as long as fuck. Like he was like in some kind of like he was in Dubai, like somebody <laughs> a sheik or somebody like flew him out <laughs> to do like some DJ shit. For right. Like, for like a private party. Yeah. He said he got to the palace and that nigga Michael Jackson was just doing backstrokes in a sheik pool. <laughs> just randomly. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Michael Jackson been involved in some of the craziest stories. Yeah, I also heard that story. You ever heard that story with uh, where Michael Jackson had fought Tupac? Yes, I did hear about it. Yeah. <laughs> and supposedly he gave him hands too. Yeah, he said that nigga. Uh, he said that nigga tackled. He said that nigga uh, Michael Jackson a GD. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Jackson being a GD is crazy. Bro. Like, he is insane. from Gary, Indiana. True indeed. So. True indeed. <clears throat> Let's see what we got, man. This one from Banks. Shout out our brother Banks. Yeah, big shout out to Banks. That nigga sent me a uh, inspirational quote one morning from his iCloud account. I was <laughs> like, man, this nigga must be in the gym. Shout out to Banks, man. Uh, 
I was appreciated, y'all. Just so you know, I mean, <laughs> anytime uh, motivational, you gotta appreciate every motivational quote. Yeah, and if you if you trying to uh, impress a woman, just send her some um, shot glizzy lines. She I'm not gonna, doing that. She ain't gonna know what you're talking about. At it's all. gonna inspire her. I'm, yeah, I, I don't know many shot. Only shot glizzy lines I know is from the crew. I guess I need to play that um, John Wall song. He said he wants a real nigga at his funeral. Oh, you didn't hear that young Hefe 3? I young Hefe Holmes? I did. I, I hate it's hearing that. Young Hefe Holmes. Shout out to Shaq Glizzy. Shaq Glizzy, he tried to, he, that nigga tried to change his name to Young Hefe. No, he tried to change the Hefe. wasn't having it. He just tried to change the Hefe, and they were like, all right, we're not calling you Hefe, nigga. I, could, I couldn't imagine someone really allowing him, hey, call me Young Hefe Holmes. <laughs> Like I'm not believing you. That's bro. a fire ad lib. I like. I like. It's a, it's a great ad lib. I love Shaq It's a Lizzie great music, ad lib, bro. That nigga bro. Dope to me, bro. It's a great ad lib, bro. It is. I can't knock it, but I just couldn't get behind it. You know what I mean? Like, rap gotta be believable. If you're not telling the truth, Young Hefe Holmes. It's young Hefe Holmes. I had a. I didn't. It took me a while that to listen Jane to Jalen Ramsey stunt double. It took he me, voiceover. <laughs> it took me a while to listen to that nigga because his voice is crazy, bro. Yeah, don't make me do it again, bro. And it was like one song he was talking about, like I'm gonna shoot a nigga because he tried me. I was trying. I, want, to, <laughs> I was trying to get my. They thought I was a young nigga. I had to show my ID. <laughs> <laughs> Young Hefe Holmes. Yeah. I'm from the DMV. <laughs> Young Hefe. <laughs> you can see right there. His, it's a picture ID. Bro, I ain't, I ain't doubting the nigga street cred, but that nigga gunshot ad libs don't even sound believable. That nigga be like, bye, bye. I'm like, nigga, you bow, you're a what, sheep nigga. What you had, a, a, a <laughs> cap gun? <laughs> like, this nigga. Pack out. Nigga, bah, bah. Uh, uh, like nigga, a sheep nigga. What the fuck? Who hanging around you? Hey, yeah. say it's softer. <laughs> and then that nigga got you when they took that nigga chain, bro. I like, bro. I don't know, bro. Yeah, I was like, the question, you my nigga. You ain't got a crew. Yeah, I'm like, bro. All right, I am just gonna mess with you. I'm messing with you. But Banks, he got a uh, G Herbo. This is real nigga that we see what G Herbo did. I'm out the loop. It says uh, Overton Elementary, where Chicago rapper G. G. Herbo spent most of his childhood, was closed in 2013. He purchased the building and opened it to be a space of community development. On Saturday, the 24-year-old spent the afternoon at the Year of the Youth Give Back, engaging with residents in, is that Bronzeville? Yeah. Uh, I'm assuming that's a Chicago because he's a Chicago nigga. That's what's up. <coughs> Look at him around applause. That's pretty Yeah, dope. man. That is, though. So anytime. G anytime you give him back. So G. Herbo, he bought his old high school and he turned into a development. Elementary school. Elementary, elementary school, my fault. So he bought his old elementary school and he turned into a development for kids. That's dope as fuck, man. That's big time, man. I can't imagine my old school being, like, closed. I think all my schools are still open. They closed my old school while, I, like, my elementary school. They closed that bitch while we were still going there, and they what? built, they built another one and and just moved us over there. And like when we first moved over there, it that was a whole new school. Uh huh. What was the name? Nah, it was the same name. It was just a brand new school. Like when we first went there, <laughs> I'm not talking about remodeling. It's going to like close it. Like it's gone. Yes, the the school that we went to. Yeah. They no longer use that entire facility. They had portables uh -huh. and they built a structure to create a new school under the same namesake. That's not like remodeling, in. nigga. No, nigga, remodeling would I'm be. I'm talking about shutting down the school. Remodeling would be I'm taking this building. And I'm just gonna enhance. No, they like the building a new. No, I'm talking about like G Herb. They shut that motherfucker down. Like that bit gone. Like I don't know what they did with that school afterwards, but I'm telling you, like they upgraded to a new building. I mean, that would be shutting down the school. This nigga Joe ridiculous, bro. I don't think you get. I get what you're saying, <laughs> but I don't think you're getting that by technicality. 
That shit a new. That shit the same school, bro. It's not, bro. It's yeah, I'm pretty sure nobody. I'm pretty sure nobody that was in that new building. Like, damn, I miss that old ass building. Nah, but what you got to think about is it creates a new school zone. It creates different regulations. Okay, for, did they put that shit somewhere else? Like somewhere like down the street? Yes. It wasn't. Ain't. It wasn't in the same. Like the facility that they had still stood. That was shut down. That's ignorant, actually. And they bought a whole new lot. And when we first went there, all they had was, like, the cafeteria and, like, this space to where you could eat um, <laughs> lunch at or whatever underneath yeah, a roof they, they or whatever. niggas eating with the construction workers. And basically, they built the school out around it while we was going there. You be eating your lunch, you be a grown-ass 40-year-old <laughs> nigga sitting next to you with a hard hat on. All right, chill out. <laughs> I mean, I will say, I knew I knew the gen- like I knew the, the construction workers, I knew the janitors, I knew like every moving part yeah, of the like, gym. Like, like, I mean, nigga, of the of the of nigga, nigga, you eat that vanilla pudding? Let me get that. Get that shit, nigga. I, uh, My I wife learned, ain't cooked last night. I learned to juggle in elementary <laughs> school and PE. And um you know, right, I used I'm to, done with this. Uh, I was going to say, I just used to challenge the niggas that was working on the school. Like, hey, bro. <laughs> hey, bro, I bet I juggle these four wrenches. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a dollar. <laughs> okay. Hey, man, I got to hustle. You're that mm. crackhead kid again. All right, chill out. Yeah. Well, I can't be a hustler, bro. Well, I can't inspire the youth, man. All right, this next one is <laughs> you know, speaking of about inspiring youth. <laughs> <laughs> he got uh, look like something. Go he, ahead. He got Ty Lawson in his real nigga. It says former NBA guard Ty mm-hmm. Lawson has been banned from life from Chinese. That's crazy. From the Chinese league after posting a couple of stories on Instagram. <laughs> <coughs> First one it says Ty. It's from Ty Lawson. It said Chinese Chinese women. First it's a Chinese woman, and those yeah. are women. Chinese woman got cakes on a low. Might switch up. I guess he meant to say might switch up my type. Yeah, might switch it up. So you're going to switch it up. And I'm going to say this. Oh, Lord have mercy. Another, Another coon. coon. We with them sisters, man. I don't know, B-Dot. B-Dot, you a coon, bro. I'm just playing it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just playing it, but yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, it is, bro. Uh, um, I mean, beautiful. We love the sisters on here. He got yeah, a picture. I don't, hey, brown skin. You know I love your brown skin. Wrong, wrong song to sing because I don't know if you seen that picture of Indiari when she bleached her skin. This nigga looking amazed. Yeah, she bleached her skin, bro. Bruh, you're lying. What I got to lie for? No, nah, nah. Google, Google Indiari bleach skin. <laughs> but look at this nigga Ty Lawson, though. This nigga said YOLO, I guess, and he's just like slapping a Chinese woman's ass in a purple room. Right. I was like, damn, this don't seem inspirational for yeah, kids. It's banned from China. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dog, this video. This one's from Stan. It says, I didn't see this. It said Good Samaritan. You ain't never, never good, seen this video. Yeah, this definitely a Good Samaritan. Oh, shit, man. Look, I was riding on the helmet. I heard this old man say, Hey, catch that bus! Catch that bus, man! Catch that bus! We got it good! Look at the bus right now! Yeah, for real! And look at all the oh, yeah. yeah. oh, What? Got what? We got you now, you bitch! You. <laughs> yeah, you bitch! You a bitch! You I got, got you! You, you. you, 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 you better fall out the fucking truck! You the driver, he the ride! Oh, <laughs> oh, I got you! Oh, how you do oh. this? You better, you better fall off this bitch. Anything oh, else in happen this? Huh? Anything else happen? <laughs> nah, he just, he catch up to the bus. Uh-huh. But he ride that motherfucker <laughs> out. <laughs> Even if he fell off, that nigga will be all right. It's skin of leather. <laughs> yeah, man. What's your name, man in love with that man. When I go, it ain't no fucking more, but I'm here. Oh, yeah, I got you. All right, man. P time up, bro. Nice meeting you, bro. That nigga say time up. up. Gotta catch him out. Oh, he's still pulling off. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> bro, he running after the bus, bro. <laughs> bro, this, this video <laughs> had me in tears. When I realized he was hanging oh, off the side, bro. Oh, 
I was like, damn, if I had an SUV. If I had an SUV, I, I definitely would have let a nigga ride. Like that pause. nigga, that nigga ignorant for that, bro. Just let that old man in your car. Bro. Nah, man, you can't trust that nigga. You gonna let him drive off the side of that bitch? Hey, bro, we only got a little while to go. All right, man, whatever. That's <laughs> ignorant, bro. <laughs> we only got a little while to go. <laughs> Shout out to Chloe Hotline in the chat. Um, what was that? Oh, I think it was on Day Need Ass Beats. I got um this nigga Clipper Daryl. Are you familiar with Clipper Daryl? Uh uh-uh. uh. Clipper Daryl is a super Clippers fan. His name is Clipper Daryl. Uh-huh. Uh he posted his new pick. He got on Lakers outfit, bro. He a hoe, bro. <laughs> That's some hoe shit, bro. Uh. He was known as the biggest Clipper fan ever. He go to every Clippers game. Uh shout out to uh Damien and uh Scott and uh Pavy. Yeah. From the uh, Summer Session podcast. Mm-hmm. They got into it with Clipper Daryl. Because uh, he was at Clippers game. They was just going at that nigga. Wow. So, yeah, he's known as, like, the biggest Clippers fan ever. And this nigga, he's a pro. He it city, up. Uh, That's crazy. Yeah, man. That's he said cool. LA a big city, bro. Bro, it's, pan- it's two teams to choose from. First of all, he's not playoff P. He's polio P. He's pussy P. Yeah. Paul George. Yeah. You so ho. He non-existent P. You so you so <laughs> ass. You got this nigga clipping there with Lakers. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody called that nigga pussy pouch P. Y'all like, all right. Wow. <laughs> they don't <laughs> now care. Now they call that nigga pocket pussy P. <laughs> they don't care. Like these niggas, rec- I mean, at this point, my bro, he don't deserve bro, respect. I was dying laughing. Somebody mm-hmm. posted, they were like, "Nobody, Paul George." And they posted a clip of the uh, the Rick Ross song. You remember Rick Ross? Like, I'm not a star. All <laughs> right, I'm done. <laughs> bro, I swear to God, because he, a- I'm not a star. <laughs> Bro, I swear like, he was God. adamant about that I ball. I almost died laughing when I see that shit. I heard that Rick Ross song a million times, but it clipped that. We're like, I'm not a star. I, I hope died laughing. I hope it was a clip of Paul George shooting one of them threes. No, it was from the just, Rick Ross, I'm not a star video. It's yeah, nah, I'm saying with the video playing of him just leaving the uh, jumper hanging. I'm about to edit that up. You and it was, it was a brick city. <laughs> But yeah, bro, that you so ass. Done built a house. You so ass. You got Clipper Daryl switching up on you niggas, bro. That's crazy. Mind blowing, honestly. Fuck the Clippers anyway. Nah, did you see the uh, Lakers in five? I can't think of bro name, dog. He really funny, but um, he was like. He had sat the Clippers down. He was pretending to be Paul George. He was like, "I don't even want to. I, I don't even know what to say to you right now. I know I'm gonna be fired." But I deserve to be fired. So before I go. Are you talking about Supreme Dream? Yeah, Supreme Dream. Yeah. He was like, man, yeah, I just want to say, Kawhi. Bro, them niggas made that skit quick as fuck, bro. They had bro, that bitch ready to in the morning. They, they was like, I know these niggas finna lose. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go and sync that bit up, bro. But yeah, that was Supreme Dream. And um, that shit, they need their ass beat. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> Yes, sir. Why you doing it, man? We got a. Uh, why you looking it up, actually? Right Hold up. Oh, okay, I guess you got it. Yeah, let me just turn my volume down. So my man drive a Chrysler 300, and he got a fifth wheel. Hold on, why you need his ass beat? Posted on the side of his car, right? It's actually clean as fuck. Like a real nigga to me. Right, right, right. Until you see his outfit and what the fuck the inside of the car look like. That outfit is crazy. He got on a button-up shirt this nigga just with like a white Lepin. button up with overalls. The seats got pillows. Everything is saran wrap. That nigga comfy, bro. Got pillows <coughs> on the on the seats. Got pillows on the back. That record, shit like niggas record. grandma house. He got bonnets on the headrest, ladies and bonnets gentlemen. Bonnets on the headrest. Eric sent this nigga a bonnet pack. He got a zebra print scarf. With matching zebra print cuffs and a zebra cowboy print boots. hat, the the cowboy boots got uh, Tinker Bell on them. Ladies and gentlemen, this nigga need his ass beat. The outside of the Chrysler was clean, clean as fuck. That's crazy, bro. So my next, they need they ass beat. 
is this yeah, nigga I see this. <laughs> who was walking and dancing around with no music playing, might I add, on Good top of a bus. Whoa, I see that. He jumped on top of a Hyundai Sonata <laughs> and shattered that bitch. Tore that bit up, bro. Send me both of them videos, please. The comment on that shit said, uh, the comment on it said, I could tell by the way he jumped off the bus, he listened to NBA Youngboy. Now, I can say this. Maybe it's because, like, I'm older and I ain't as, you know, wild as I once was. But NBA Youngboy ain't led me to do nothing crazy in my life. NBA Youngboy, that nigga make um, juvenile delinquent music. He does, I guess. Yeah, that nigga made that, they made that music, bro. You got to be a young, like, you got you you to you had to play Pop Warner in your lifetime. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. You got to be a nigga that need to hear, um, whatchamacallit, say, uh, <coughs> okay now, beloved. <laughs> What's his name? Uh, <laughs> Tax Stone, nigga? I don't know. No, uh, the battle rap, nigga. Um, oh, you going to get this word? Yeah, that nigga. I don't know, bro, name. But okay now, that. beloved. You could be somewhere out here doing better, but instead you got dope hidden in your cupboard. <laughs> uh loaded lux loaded lux okay loaded lux all right let's uh hold on catch up with them they need. okay i think i got it up all right i think i'm done drinking for the night man i don't know i mean i might be dr done drinking till i get home but all right, this this from the uh, homie um, R Star Garson, another Patreon supporter. Beat time. He said uh, they need they ass beat for saying I'm the realest cracker in South Florida while waving a Yakubian flag out their dually truck. So wow. uh, I'm interested in what this is. So this is I'm a, not. It's a, it's just <laughs> a Lambo. <laughs> Hold on, bro. Said make the trap great Bruh again. Bro said, "I'm a proud American." <coughs> Dog, how can you be using all kinds of black? All right, I'm not even. Is this wrong. Paul Wall, bro? No, no, no. Yeah, it's Paul. not. Don't disrespect Paul Wall, Paul bro. Walrus. Don't disrespect, bro. Paul. Don't Walrus. disrespect Paul Wall, bro. I'm a proud American. Bro, what? Paul Wall wouldn't do this, bro. Okay. Okay. I really don't want to hear anymore. <laughs> Bro, he look he like needs his ass beat. He look like he Google what do black people wear. He looks ignorant, bro. And bro said he the realest crack out of South Florida. He's hey man, All Star Garcon. He said it. He a said that they need their ass beat. Camouflage in a pair of forces. He ain't submitted for the real niggas. He submitted for the they need their ass beat. So they need their ass beats, bro. Oh yes, he definitely need his ass beat. Yeah, it's killed. I mean, did I say that out loud? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> this one's from home, bro. Solo. What's going he said, on? He said, uh, this guy needs his ass beat. He has on some uh, off-white fours that are clearly fake. And too they big. Did, they didn't even try, nigga. And they are too... Oh, my God. They did not try. Bro, they man. didn't care. First of all, that nigga, that nigga put his feet up with the fours like, hey... That nigga Come. say these variations, bro. Variations. <laughs> these uh make your own. Oh man, this uh, is crazy. Bro. Uh, <laughs> Them things ugly, bro. That's all. They are hideous. That is, yeah. They, he needs his ass beat two times. He posted them with confidence. That nigga, is, <laughs> he needed his ass beat for each foot. <laughs> Jordan need to be his ass for real. <laughs> yeah. Make right. him wear a all pair right, of them Jordan nigga. jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Punishment, Jordan jeans for eternity. Ah, <laughs> I kill myself. <laughs> you ain't wearing the Jordan jeans? No, bro. It's too fucking hot. ASAP Rocky, wearing... Rocky be wearing Jordan jeans. See what ASAP Rocky, yeah. He was in Sweden. Yeah. That's why they locked them up. They're like, we, we seen those jeans. a fashion no no. <laughs> <laughs> what accent was that you just did? I don't know. 
<laughs> I know we got some Swedish listeners. You just, you just offended them. They're no longer listening to us, man. I lied. Y'all teach I me. I lied. Like this episode is gonna be three hours around it, man. So I, y'all you hey, caught us slipping. Hey, this I'm drunk. Still sign up for that Patreon though. Stop it, man. Stop it. Stop it, bro. Stop it. Just a shot. All right, man. All right, y'all. Till the next time. Show them that Ario P cup, man. My nigga got that fish on him. Ario P Studios coming soon, my nigga. Coming very soon. You know your left from your right. Oh, niggas. Huh? Huh? I know I'm left or what? right. What are you talking about, bro? All right, man, I'm done. This nigga, <laughs> this nigga acting unusual right now, bro. All right, sign up for the Patreon. Patreon.com slash Ario Podcast. <laughs> we on Spotify. We on Apple Podcasts. We on iHeartRadio. We on... Nigga, we everywhere. We everywhere you ain't right. never there. If you ain't focused, you're hopeless. I Matter found out fact- a couple of weeks ago. We like, well, a couple of months ago, I sent that shit to you. We on Pandora, bro. That's crazy. I didn't know they had podcasts. Man, get your listens up. Yeah, man. So go ahead and get that, man. And we on YouTube also. If you want to see our uh, faces, you want to see our reactions, you want to see this nigga Joe Slizzard. Is that the word? I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. Drunk that, as fuck. I wouldn't say that that describes where I'm at right YouTube. now. YouTube.com slash random podcast. Unless you caught me dancing at the beginning before we got started. Yeah, you were dancing, but you gotta be at the Patreon to see him dancing. You gotta see that. Uh, Thank see God. The, see the live stream. Thank God. I tell you. Not. To, I mean, not saying that my my moves ain't there. You know what I mean? Like my again, my popping lock is impeccable. I wasn't paying attention to you. Yeah, bro. It's known. To, all right. Um. Damn, I had something I wanted to say before we got up out of here, but that lady had the best. Clearly wasn't important. (laughs) With all that said, we out.